Idaho, Blue Turf Football, The Great Outdoors, The Idaho Vandals, first team ever to relegate back to the FCS, and oh yeah, did I mention Dank Potatoes? While Boise State has been in the spotlight here in the Pacific Northwest, something else was growing right underneath their nose 25 minutes away in CUNA, Idaho. The CUNA Kings, initially established in 2002 as a community college for farmers. They are commonly referred to as the Potato Kings because the soil content in the area is in the 99th percentile. No one grows potatoes quite like the CUNA Kings. Kings. In fact, CUNA potatoes are the gold standard in the farming community. Now this little city dreams of being the new gold standard of college football. A local CUNA legend and graduate from CUNA Community College in 2011, Old McDonald set the school sack record with 41 and a half over two seasons. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he grew the first gold potato. No, actually the potato had solid gold on the inside. The discovery made him one of the wealthiest humans on the planet. Staying true to his roots in community, Old McDonald generously gave $69 million to CUNA Community College. In return, McDonald had three wishes. Let's go D1, let's go win a national championship, and let me coach the team. The very next day, CUNA's AD fired previous head coach Chad Beaver on the spot. The donation changed the game overnight. Now established as a Division I school and in the FBS, enrollment skyrocketed. I hope you're ready because the CUNA Kings are ready to make their debut this fall with Coach McDonald leading the way. Let's go meet Old McDonald's boys star quarterback or something like that 64 overall farmer brown he played qb for cuna high and then went to cuna community college to study agriculture man was just learning how to till the soil until old mcdonald gave him a call wanting him to try out for the team now a junior he won the job but guys like herb cedar are right behind him one two punch on the ground led by dale harvester backed up by star key orchard buck hayfield t meadow brent aker and cj cropper are a tight knit wide receiver room tight end boston rock is joining the front line kevin gardner's our best corner but tyreek sunset and DeMarvin Cheese should be holding their own. Let's be real, Old McDonald needs to start blowing up the prospect pipeline because this team is in need of some help. Here is a look at the inaugural season for the CUNA Kings. We got Georgia week one on the road. After that, Mountain West Conference play begins with three home games in a row at Royal Harvest Stadium. Essentially done with conference play in week seven minus this Colorado State game, we have three non-conference opponents in Maryland, UAB, and UMass. Speaking of UMass, let me introduce you to our rivalry games. The Harvest Heritage Showdown. Founded in 1863 as the Massachusetts Agricultural College, they have a rich history rooted in agriculture and education. The Gold Rush Classic against the Wyoming Cowboys. It evokes the historical Western rush for gold, tying nicely into Wyoming's heritage. The most heated rivalry saved for last, it's the pride of Idaho on the line, Boise State University. This one's called the Gem State Grudge Match because, well, Idaho's famously known as the gem state. Here is a look at CUNA's first prospect list where dreams become reality for these prospects. Our first crop of 35 led by Sam Prince when we're sorted by national rank. Let's go ahead and check out what he has got. The first prospect scouted out in CUNA history. Looks good to me. Bingo. Our first gem is Brendan DeMarco. We're just going to have to find a way to get into the recruiting battle because the interest is off the charts for other schools. Before I waste too many hours scouting out prospects, I should just go ahead and give everyone a scholarship because our team is that bad where anyone three star and up would be a boost. Week one of CUNY Kings football starts now. We're on the road. Georgia Bulldogs bring it on. Here we go. The first team builder series in college football 25 man it is finally here we have arrived after 11 years i cannot wait to run this series back and it all starts right here our jerseys came out so clean i'm not gonna lie and there's the first stop of the game that's right we're soaking up every moment of this team builder and meadow made the first tackle second and ten i'm taking control of ox ox who gets the stop amazing sack i just don't even know what happened we got it bro i'm speechless i didn't even know what to say or how to announce that we just got a sack i promise i won't pause every single time but i'm just surprised that a 60 overall team is playing some football three and out for the number one seed buford taking the punt return and gonna get us to almost midfield georgia toughness rank zero in the top right that's definitely a glitch i wonder if they mean they are number one and if you couldn't tell already look at farmer brown the lefty slinger getting the first ball out to brent aker the only one without a snowflake is meadow and harvester so maybe i look for one of them and oh, i was gonna take a deep shot to the streaking receiver instead it gets peanut punched out of there 
Touchdown, Georgia. Big third down. Farmer Brown just looking for some composure. The crowd is not going to give him a break. We do have an open man once again. Brent, check down king. Predicted to finish last in the Mountain West. Who thinks we have a chance against Georgia in their right mind? Farmer Brown does. He never stops believing. 21-yard scamper. Stepping up again in the pocket. He is out of there, and he slides down for the first. Third and goal. Hayfield is so far out there that I can't can't even audible to him because he won't hear me over the noise and we'll just take a check down to harvester and at least settle for three 28 yard field goal i should realize too that a kick is no sure thing in this stadium and with our kicker let's try it out looks pretty good to me we nail it van farm has etn duties on this play and it is not going to go to etn instead this tight end was wide carson beck wants points he's going up the middle it's a read option he got out of there touchdown huge turn of events has our guys down the field dumping the slip screen to harvester can you get forward and reach so close to the end zone i can almost taste it up the middle harvester is in there the first ever score in cuna king history things move so quickly at the two minute drill but oh baby that sack is costly for georgia crowds awfully quiet for this field goal attempt i can imagine they want their kicker to nail it so they focus in offensive line clearly needs help but you know what else needs help this quarterback because he got a noodle of an arm for someone as physical as a farmer you'd think they'd be able to get more steam on their pass as rock breaks free thankfully securing it love seeing boston rock get free out there that's what it's all about as brent aker does his part too all right farmer show me what's up make me eat my words as he just keeps it in himself chances slowly fading away from us we'll go ahead and hit acre that pass was behind him big fourth down maybe we can get some single coverage to pick on just gonna launch one up mayfield trying to go back for it yeah it was a long shot to take down georgia but i'm happy with how our team performed in this one today all said and done 48 to 17 0 and 1 we go this was to be expected old mcdonald looks like a quick learner he got two more level ups so he can put it into the recruiting tree offensive line and quarterback that's where our points are headed my sweet sweet sam prince we are third on the list and auburn is pulling away that game against georgia was technically week zero now it's week one and here we are against the air force falcons i'm wearing one of my alternate unis it's the gold because we are kings after all and the golden potato stays in cuna farmer brown welcome back to the scene this team needs a hero and you need to be the guy to show him you can bring it as he dumps it to rock what a good first play call me crazy but i'm actually thinking we might have a chance now that it's not a team like georgia as we take a one-on-one -on -one shot huge play this is mayhem early number three hayfield we worked hard to get down to the red zone let's finish it off with the handoff harvester he is gone touchdown falcons tied it up and they're going for a quick slant where did they pull that out of threatening us in the red zone back to pass once more this is a surprising look qb keeps back to the ground again where did 21 just zip up from showing folks we are still very much a work in progress but the defensive line dropping him for loss beautiful job from bale here and we're gonna need bale to try to cover that zone maybe i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself after the success on our first drive as i did not get any bite from the receiver all bait touchdown pick six fourth quarter still only down by two scores so maybe if we hit our tight end rock would have been rolling now it's fourth down strong flood this could get open brent what you got man way to secure it pretty reliable receiver i've noticed early in this one and how about you meadow yes just like that into the red zone across the middle rock doing something right if we can get the rock to rock just like here first and goal gonna run an rpo and just hand it off to a bunch of big linemen not my brightest idea i know but this could be better rock fighting all the way down just at the two i'm not afraid to step up and take off if i have to like here we have a guy we can throw it to but why not walk the dog need to make the stop so i'm sending the house and wheeler was all there cam at a boy let's go ahead and methodically drive looking for rock good start i had a couple maybe through this one a little late in brent no my man straight up dropped it so that is unfortunate maybe redemption here so it's fourth down farmer brown pull out whatever you can find slant across 
He dropped it. No. With the limited 400 hours we have, we're actually getting some motion on a DB, a left end gem, although Syracuse is in the running again. Never say never on Prince. But what I'm learning is maybe it would have been better to fire one of these coordinators because when you're just starting a college program, you want to build a pipeline in a recruiting system as early and strong as you can. It was old head coach Chad Beaver's final wish before leaving to keep his friends at the coordinator roles. And man, I'm starting to regret listening to him. Sounds harsh, yes I know, but it feels like we're behind the eight ball in our first season, a pivotal foundational year. That's beside the point because we have our first rivalry game in store and first home game all in the same breath. It is Wyoming. The Gold Rush Classic is underway. Here we go in the kick return, knocking him back. Cuna, Idaho, a small town outside of, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how filthy this run was. Let's go ahead and jet touch it to Brent Aker. Cuts it upfield. He's got some blockers and he sheds free. Juke and everything. Oh my gosh, 22. Keep it going. Brent, hustle. I know you're fatigued. Yo! Third and nine. Zig, we were there to cover it, but then we got off it last second and that was all 84 needed. Up the middle with the blitz, trying to get through protection just held up 16s down into the goal line i joked about it my ncaa 14 team builder but evan savota looks like josh allen he's wearing the same number even y'all should know who josh allen is he went to wyoming and he cooked for the mountain west actually was his only d1 offer and he made it count as we make it count right there until we don't savota speak of the man picks up the fumble and scores. Towards the end of the third quarter, just gonna hit Rock once more, see if he can break a tackle. First and goal. Gold Rush Classic not really going our way this second, but maybe Rock can get a touchdown. Always a good idea to go right back the middle. There's our Rock. Boston, Rock, getting it done. Maybe it only took just a second for us to get warmed up, because we're gonna take a deep shot to Hayfield, who comes down with it, mosses that man, and suns him. Get down, boy. Need to get a stop on third down. It's a play action. I'm covering. We're all there. So you're telling me there's a chance anything can go in a rivalry matchup. I'm warning y'all, don't let the farmer get hot. It's a dangerous sight, and that is a dangerous pass. Not what we want to do. Here we go, second chance, back to Hayfield. Second chances don't always come, so we need to make the most of this one right here. Rock, I know who to count on to lead the way. Here we go, deep cross, we might have him, except I didn't see this dude just standing over here. Did not see the dude just standing over there casually waiting for something, so we'll go ahead and dump that one into the lap of a cornerback. Jeez Louise. Another one possession, one score defeat, 28-20. Initially, I'm choosing to go for some big guys to make big splits flashes on this team when I'm wondering if I should have gone for the quantity approach, tried to hit as many three stars as possible just to get a base layer for the next year. Recruiting has me worried at the moment. Fresno State has me worried at the moment. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of things on this CUNA King team has me worried, but we're in for the long haul. Bring in the blitz, go ahead and get past and intercept it. Paddock is there, our first interception that we've been able to control ourselves for CUNA. Scrambling out to our left. We do have an opening. However, an aggressive corner came in and picked it off when our guy didn't even turn around. Van Farm, hold the farm down, my friend. Didn't do that at all like I asked. Fresno State this close to running away with the game. They get another touchdown. Let's go ahead and fake the jet touch and see if we can get anyone out here at all. Why are the interceptions over the top today? No receivers breaking for the ball. SOS, Brent Aker, is it your turn? This is what I'm talking about. Inaccurate balls and our receivers not breaking on it. They don't wanna play today, it looks like. McDonald even whips. Yeah, let's not talk about this one. I'm at the point where I'm just working on my rushing attack. I would like to pound the rock more, but I can never get enough momentum early in a game to try it. More often than not, it's games like this where we fall behind by a mile and are just forced to do anything to pull something out. As we just lob one up, fourth and goal. Playing for pride, there's no way I go for three points. All right, everyone, erase this game from your memory. This game never happened. Got it? 
good. I guess the pain doesn't end here. Sam Prince has blocked us because of our playing style at an F. Same with Manny Martinez, man. An F for playing style. It's a deal breaker for him. What offensive player is going to want to come to us if we're an F? Losing a lot of battles. Barry Page is a loss now too. Third home game in a row, this time against Utah State. As you can see on the right and left, the little fans that we had to start with are dwindling. No one wants to see this winless product. Just continue to lob balls into nowhere land. That is insane how inaccurate it was. Cuna getting risky for it. Fourth down. We just want to get the conversion. Seriously. Cringeworthy performance from Farmer Brown in this one at the moment and let them cook. All for pride at this point. Let's at least try to get one score on the book. Third and six across the middle. Mayfield, Hayfield. Yes. Give me a K. Give me an I. Give me an NGS. Kings, Kings, Kings. Touchdown. If you believe in miracles, the only thing we can really hope for here is a couple long bomb connections, which is unlikely given the fact that we're getting clamped up at the line almost every single play except for this one to cropper touchdown hold the phone onside kick 101 i have no idea what i'm doing let's just try to go left closer to our guys and then hit that meter as best we could Looked like a good effort. Another one comes falling flat, 21-14. Some of the recruits we're looking at are ready for a visit, but let's be real. I don't wanna send them to any of the games we play. It's like guaranteed losing motivation. On that inspiring note, let's go mash them up. UNLV Rebel time. Dropped every game during the homestand. Maybe our luck can change on the road. Big third down, key opening drive. There's Meadow, he is taken off, good play. Now third and seven. In. just gonna let one rip settling for three points we want to at least get on the board scratch that i count this defensive hold as a success in a blocked kick even greater of a success meadow scoops it up running down the sideline big six touch down let's go fourth and one don't let your dreams be dreams just do it <sighs> the day we bring an actual quarterback into the picture, no offense, Farmer, but that'll be a big day. Second and goal for UNLV. Pick that off. Someone make a play. Is this an official review? He caught that thing. That should be a touchdown. And yep, it was overturned. Third and five. We got a deep cross, maybe meadow comes down with it whatever we dial up here needs to get into the end zone or out of bounds what's it gonna be running back come through for me three points okay not too shabby defense has only been able to hold for so long we can't do it all day except paddock can this is what he's built for just audible a bit maybe someone can spring free for me if we can even have the time of day fourth and 17 back literally against our own end zone my only hope is just to air out a bomb and the receiver got through and would you believe it we missed him just like we missed the coverage you got me messed up out here man that is for sure i just want That's all you need to see, folks. Pick for the dagger. We had a chance against UNLV. We really did. No one to blame but ourselves. CUNA Kings implode after getting the lead. On a dry spell with the recruiting front, CUNA just needs some good news. Maybe we can play big against Hawaii, and that'll be the good news. Turning the stadium up. We're getting loud. Read option. I bet. We all bet. Fool. Just need to make a stop, make a play, anyone step up and stop this ground attack. So many games we feel close on the precipice of something until teams like Hawaii just drive right down the field. One of the menu panels just said he threw for four touchdown passes in 300 yards last game, and I could see how this team is alive. Down by two touchdowns, this would be a great time to break loose on something, anything. Hawaii is playing hot, and this is exactly what I was worried about, down 23-0. So back to the air we go, hit our fullback bail, first down. Hawaii get, got a necessary roughness call, so that gives us a chance to score. Dumping it to Bale. They swarmed on him. Fourth and eight. Looking across the middle. Pressure. Hawaii, I hope you enjoyed your flight to Idaho and have a safe flight home. Fresh and ready to return to the battle. It's our arch nemesis, Boise State. In the inaugural season, Boise is headed 20-25 minutes up the road to CUNA, Idaho for this game, and we're underway. 
Let's go. First in goal, up the middle. Genty makes it look so easy. One play is all it took to swing something in our favor. Now Rock needs to hit the school of hard rock knocks because I want to see him learn how to catch and run better. No reason we need to stand idle waiting. We could go to work right away. Yeesh. 31-0 shutout. Boise State doesn't even blink. Definitely stinks knowing that the Potato Cup is in Boise this season. Up the interstate 20 minutes away. Losing all these games also means no upgrade points. But fire me up and mash my potatoes because we got one up in here. Woot, woot. Big old Mitch is Cuna King's first ever signee and he's a gem quarterback the future is here it's so beautiful it brings a tear to old mcdonald's eyes really hoping that our signing a big mitch lit a fire under farmer brown because we need him to play out of his mind and roman is out of his mind right now. Let's go ahead and hand it off to Harvester, see if he can work his magic. And what a juke. Found the hole and pay dirt. So now we're in this thing after all. Third and 13, make it fourth and 19 with a big sack from Ox Ox. Celebrating the defense can only be short lived when we're back and in the red zone. Second and 12, cover to invert flat. Did not work, but the receiver was clueless. Brings us to a third and 12. Let's not let a six happen. How does that sound? Defense align on board. Weed stepped up, and you know what? Another blocked kick from Cheese would be timely right about now, but it doesn't happen. Large third and 10 right here looming and lurked out of the coverage. He comes and back to the coverage he goes. Pick six. Take one last good look at the Maryland crowd because the three weeks we had to prepare was not enough. The schedule was wonky, eight straight games, and then we come back out after a three-week three break. Did someone say garbage time? Because that's what I want. Last chance right here, right now. I'm stubborn, so I call the timeout, even though it's fourth and goal and we're down by 23. I really want to prove we can score a touchdown, and we do. Thank you, sir. 38-21, they mashed our potatoes right up, stomping all over it. This recruiting update has to be one of the most depressing I've ever seen. Losing Jason Wheeler, Ashton Hatcher, Isaiah, Shane, Shaq, Jamario. Getting late into the season, we're 0-9. Even the Aztecs managed to get a win. UAB Blazers 6-2 in the season in town at CUNA, Idaho. We are running out of chances to get a win, and their quarterback, Zeno, steps up and gets clobbered. That's the price you pay when you're a hard-nosed quarterback like Zeno. Third and 12, Akers got a step off the jump, but he drops it. I'll entertain the home crowd. If I hit three, it'll be a one possession game. So that's what we wanna see right here. Bingo. Down by eight, few minutes to work. Pressure all up in our grill. Step up, take off. Not even close. Once more, another game of what could have been, what would have been, because everything right now, not happening. This is a touchdown to Harvester. At least we got a running back I can rely on, because that's about all I got right now. Another potato bites the dust. Right now, all I can call them are mashed potatoes. Once we start cooking, we'll bake those potatoes. <laughs> Christmas came early to CUNA, Idaho. Craig Mangum, welcome. Ezekiel tongues when you're tonguing down all the potatoes and balls across the field. I can't wait to see it tight end we still got one more mountain west conference game it's on the road against the rams maybe we can squeak something out the thing about college football is that old mcdonald as rich as he is for his inventions and discoveries it doesn't really translate over here on the gridiron we need guys like hayfield to have a heyday it's gonna be criminal if we can't walk away this season with at least one victory under our belt whether it's colorado state or our rivalry game next week someone's got to lose and i don't care who i refuse to let farmer brown go down sad as he's been doing so far and look at rock there he is didn't want to get anyone's hopes up because yes we are up but how long they're about to score pinching the line back up over the middle he felt that one last chance here to stop him on the ground we do we have 27 seconds and no timeouts whatsoever Throwing the pick right to the guy. I was waiting for the route to develop. It didn't. Oh, in 11, here we come. That leaves for one more hoedown, showdown rivalry with UMass. What you know about the Harvest Heritage Showdown, it is a iconic staple of CUNY King football. If we have one chance at winning this game, it's right here in this rivalry matchup. As they say, when it rains, it pours. That is seriously the truth out here. We can't find anyone even Meadow getting botched up. Against all teams too, this should have been the opportunity to go for the dagger. If we can turn this thing up in the second half, don't count us out of this game because I think 
will have the upper hand going forward. Beautiful conversion, it gives us new life, and that's exactly the life we just threw away to the linebacker waiting. He's gonna take it out of here, pick six. I just want to fast forward to a new era of potato football. UMass finishes off the rivalry game, and we're 0-3 in all rivalry games, 0-12 on the entire season. Nothing went our way. End of season time, and Cade Klubnik is the Heisman winner. Time for the off-season transfer portal, all that good stuff, but the first thing on my mind is firing my coordinators. Interesting, despite my 0-12 season for the Kings, the Aztecs are willing to give me a hire. College football national championship game, Heisman winner Cade Klubnik could not pull it out in the big game. Don't know why I'm looking at the season stat panel. There's nothing here exciting to see. Just a lot of mediocre play. Old McDonald has no chance in persuading any of these guys that are transferring away, including Farmer Brown. It does sting to see these guys go, but I can't say their presence will be as missed as much as we might think. Only three high school recruits in the regular season, I'm about to slay the transfer portal. Not much time for pleasantries, just scholarships. Scheduling visits for our transfers, we're winning some, we're losing some. It's important that we take some risks here and hard sell, try our best to just get whatever we can manage to get our hands on. There we go, commit number four and five, Sydney Porter from Florida, Denario Golston from Virginia, Tyrell, another Florida boy, Jabari make it three Florida boys. We at least pulled something crazy last minute out of our hat to get the fifth best recruiting class in the Mountain West. I don't know who just went crazy in the gym, but after training results, we're up to a 78 overall. First look at the point distribution. We don't have many points to work with, so it was important to find guys like Saul Jizzy who will jizz all over the opponents with a four-star gem rating, 94 speed, gold arm bar, yes please. First game of year two, we're inviting a Florida school, the Panthers, all the way to Idaho. And on paper, we stack up pretty close. Now that's on paper. I don't know if I'm exactly believing what I see. FIU in the red zone, handing it off to their RB, number zero, down within five to go. Another handoff, back to number 14. He's got some speed to him right around the defender. First quarter coming to a close, seven zero FIU on top and they convert here as well and get so much more than just a conversion touchdown now 27 zero six seconds before the half we'll lob one up to rock Oh, I guess three points is better than nothing and we'll take it to end the half. Playing FIU like this is going to indicate to me that we have a long season on our hands. We got a decent little quarterback here, but we got no one around him to step up and make plays or turn around and read balls. Ugly start to the season, week one of year two. Old McDonald and this group need a short-term memory because now we're 0-13 through one year in one game. Let's go on to the Gold Rush Classic and fight like we've never fought before in a crucial rivalry matchup. Wyoming home of the stadium at the highest elevation in all of the FBS. That should be no problem for CUNA as Idaho is pretty high up there as well. These guys have been training for games like this. Third and six, running back out in motion here. Left a one-on-one -on -one ball to 23 touchdown Wyoming on top. Third down, they're making some noise out here in Wyoming. I find Bell slipping through the middle. I am asking for a lot here without too many troops to reinforce the attack. We can scramble here and it looks like we'll be able to take it, spin, fight for the first. Second down, we got Bell securing it, almost a first. Big third and seven, scrambling out to our right. Do we have the tight end? Bell, touchdown, Mitch. Now we need eight. The big question is, can we get eight? Gonna go to Rock. He put on a nice move and dropped it. Costly turnover led to points before half, and now they have another chance for points here in the third quarter. Basically a touchdown. Tough times continue out here for CUNA. Just looking for anything. It's not even like Mitch is doing too bad this game. It's just that our defense is seriously a pile of potato garbage. Thankfully, Mitch found a man. Third and 10, really at this point playing for pride because what is left in this game? I had hope it was gonna be different today. I really did. And it ended up getting even worse. Chalk it up to a failed gold rush matchup. Got a few guys like Jem Terrell Kane here that are interested in our school. Let's just hope it stays that way. Cause there are long days ahead at the recruiting front, like Thomas Tuska barely inching week by week towards his top eight. And we're going up against a couple prestigious schools. I think hands down my favorite player in the class is Sal Jizzy, who is a four-star gem running back. I showed you a little bit about him earlier, but man, this is a quality prospect. On the road once more against the Aggies. We're gonna wear our all gold unis as McDonald is hoping you look good 
you feel good you play good desperately needing to cash in for points let's go to rock but the only thing rock hard on that last play was the defensive pressure swarming so scrambling out we got a man touchdown cropper crop dusting the db you know what they say offense sells tickets defense wins championships and ultimately we want to win championships because that will lead to more ticket sales and CUNY Kings glory. Mitch calls for a play action and he's gonna take off, dumping it to the running back, Teague, touchdown. It's early in this one as there's still a lot of football to be played, but maybe, just maybe, a new leaf is turning here for CUNA, Idaho. Almost a touchdown, first and goal. Mitch is on fire, just gonna hand it off to Harvester, who finishes it off, touchdown for the senior. Calling the tight end cross, I see Meadows on a one-on-one -on -one island, and he burnt him, I saw the mean stiffy, and we hit him, touchdown Meadow from Mitch. All the way down within the red zone, it's a fake jet touch, and it's a power, so Mitch is gonna keep it himself, bounce to the left, pick up a solid eight. Coach McDonald not opposed with getting Mitch involved on this offense, as he has has legs that can push it just as much. Let's run a little more smash mouth football. Another QB power up the middle. Mitch in there, touchdown. It is a scoring frenzy out in this one. 35 points for the Potato Kings. I don't think I've seen a more beautiful sight. Birmingham, touchdown. Looks like we're on pace to finally snap the 14 game losing streak. Intercepted to seal this one. Allegro is gonna try to take it back and will get tackled down at the 40. Put your hands up for the CUNA Kings, Old McDonald and squad, man. They are going berserk back home in CUNA, Idaho. They got Adam Bale right when it comes to defense and player of the week, but McDaniel, four touchdown catches was good enough to beat out Mitch. Old McDonald is feeling good. Fresno State, it's a vacant stadium, man. They're sleeping on the Bulldogs. Jim Sweeney Field is the site for this one. Here is the kickoff and Buford Jr. ready to take it back. Another game of CUNA Kings football starts right now with a beautiful return to the house. This team is red, smoking hot. It's time to continue to work and unlock this team to their full potential, lobbing it up first and goal. Springer hauled in the last one. Now let's let Cropper crop dust everyone on the way into the end zone touchdown i swear when it rains it pours and that's exactly what's happening right now as we go across to harvester looking to finish it off touchdown here we go on third down gonna do it with a qb wrap and we have a hole he breaks free he's got a couple blockers hits the spin down for the first gonna have to be careful not to take too many shots with our quarterback because we don't want him busted up for the long haul cropper with the acrobatic play to get us down to this point second and goal mitch scrambling out left he's got a man it's cropper again in the end zone all alone let's go ahead and give cropper the trifecta third touchdown of the day i think so following the blocks fresno state finally starting to find some points but i do truly believe it's a little too late looks like i was wrong and the defense went back to characteristic form imploding giving up a lot of points this drive is extremely important if we can convert on the first down we will essentially ice this thing out now the stadium finally coming alive they're blaring mo bamba they want to get into it badly but i want to finish it badly and it looks like that's not going to happen a minute to go they've got it down into the red zone danger zone touchdown fresno state they're tying it up talk about a defensive implosion we cannot afford to let down cuna fans in this one we have worked so hard to maintain and get into this game would seriously hate for it to all go for waste as i look for rock hold on man boston rock has been soaking up a lot of contact so it has been difficult for him fourth and five i'm actually kind of worried to run this it might be better to go to ot to mitigate risk a little bit i ran it down to 10 seconds so if i get it maybe i'll still have a chance at a field goal which i do not that gives fresno state a chance at a field goal and we're gonna ice them this could go down as a really bad play call by old mcdonald so let's hope he just shanks it and no he split it right down the middle we lost well that sucks look at the points scored in the third and fourth quarter fresno state completed it unfortunate outcome at least cj cropper had himself a day with coach mcdonald's crew headed to hawaii he was planning on giving him a little bit of a breather out there on the island but instead we chose to hit practice hard because we couldn't bear the fact that we choked that last game great weather great conditions we're in line for a good one at hawaii just past midfield let's go ahead and get a good connection here to meadow going instead he dropped it and now we're forced to play some defense where hawaii is looking 
to shed some tacklers and finish us off. Quickly down 17-0. This is not what we want to see on the road. So let's go ahead and get the party started with the dump to harvester. These are games we very much should be and could be in the middle of. And let's prove why we are more than capable. Past midfield, scanning. And I threw that into double, co double coverage, interception. After two really good performances on Heisman mode from Mitch, I guess I'm bound to have these garbage games every once in a while and I'm really selling the bag. We can cash in three times, go for two, three times, and be right back in it tied up as Rock will go ahead and get us the first one. Just takes one thing to go right, and now we'll have a chain reaction. Only problem is for this chain reaction to work, we are running really, really low on time. Most important thing here is to execute in the red zone, so let's go ahead and do that. Harvester, touchdown. One minute and 30 seconds to go. They have so much cushion on us. We'll take a deep shot with Mitch. Don't say we won't try it. Not quite sure how to finagle the onside kick to make it work really well and Hawaii's gonna recover. Got the ball back with 30 seconds left. This time we still have a dream in mind. Beautiful lob to Meadow. Look at the comeback. Once again, not really sure what we're looking for. I'll just crank it to the left, hit the meter, do something in between. Maybe that'll work, but look at that. Easy recovery, that's game. Started slinging it at the end, almost had our own little rendition of Fresno State's comeback against Hawaii. Instead, we're falling to one and four. Scheduled a visit for Terrell Kane, and I'm not gonna lie, I did place him on a bye week because I don't have 100% faith we'll get the dub, even against a team like Ball State. Still yet to win a game here on the home turf. That all changes right here, right now. 2-0, UNLV's off to a good start. Fourth down, spreading everyone out. We're bound to see something we like, like this quick one to Bell for First and goal. Mitch, this is becoming his forte in the red zone, running the QB power, and it works yet again. Maybe we should just stick with the QB power. So that's exactly what we do on this one. We have the space to keep fighting forward. Essentially a different look here, but the same play. QB power, keeping it all the way, touchdown. That type of play call would not work in the NFL, that's for sure. But in college, anything goes, and just like that, slot dime at midfield on the potato let's go ahead and lob up a bomb we hit him bell in stride touchdown what's the flag is this gonna be a roughing the passer call heck yeah third and four looks look for rock he's open touchdown boston rock boston rock with that last touchdown there's also rumors swirling down south in salona beach california there's this tight end named stone boston and he's cooking people as well third and eight all tied up 28 apiece scrambling out to the right there we go he has him open no, I thought we could float it over the top. He was so open behind that DB. Come on, man. That is unacceptable. Just like unacceptably letting him get open like that. Two minute drill, first in goal. He's just going up the middle to the running back. They have the lead now. Second and 20 with a minute 40 to go. I feel like I just have to call verticals and hope someone springs open like Bell. He held on. Another third down. We're going to take the slant, but before I could do that, sacked. Defensive pressure gets us to a fourth down. This is not good. Trying to get it off. We do. Springer, thankfully our last ditch effort we were this close from being stopped yet again and what's this a broken play springer the hero in the fourth quarter comes alive defense huge takeaway now it's our turn to win this game let's go i want the ball in mitch's hands so that's exactly what we're gonna do keeping it got plenty of blocks cutting it and fumbling, oh no, I thought I slid down, but clearly not in time. Sold the opportunity to go ahead and kick the game-winning field goal, it's overtime. On third and nine, I need to see the best defense I've ever seen all year long. Let's get a stop. Moon, someone, no. Just like that, it gets busted, and now the quarterback back to pass, throws an interception to Mill. Here is your hero, Cuna Idaho, sending the home fans home happy once we get at least three points. Now look at this, going for a big one. Harvester first and one. One play away from sending everyone home happy. Here the home crowd goes crazy. Storm the field, Cuna. This is your first home victory in collegiate history. The fans are going wild. The players are storming onto the field too. The conquest continues in Cuna, Idaho against Ball State. Ball State one and two. I believe in year one of the dynasty, they are the worst rated team in all the college football. So uh, if we can't beat these guys, good luck beating anyone.
Cardinals want some points. It's third and goal. They go back to their tight end who gets some. Is this deja vu or another third and goal opportunity? Ball State wants more points and they get it again. Come on. 30 seconds to go in this half. I think we have a step on the DB. The star, number 24, got burnt. He still got back. He got mossed, essentially. Terrific catch here with 10 seconds left before the half harvester wide open it wouldn't take long for this game to get a bit out of hand now would it we'll have to take another deep shot just like we did the last time touchdown kings it ain't over until it's over as you can tell mitch is starting to get hot one thing leads to another we got in the end zone rock touchdown what did i say game on the line we get the punt return and we run into the punter so that might as well just become game at this point seriously now do we have to get back to the practice field and run special team coverage that essentially cost us the game victory formation for the cardinals and they won so uh whoever that was you better watch out i'm finding your head at practice 100 100 laps come Monday morning, you're running that track. I'm starting to lose some battles on our initial batch of spuds, so I went ahead and replenished the board with some three stars and a couple four stars here and there. Thankfully, I didn't have to wait much longer until Terrell Kane decided to commit to CUNA. It is the Gem State Grudge match, this time headed to the blue turf. Boise State is ranked in the top 25. They're cruising to a six and one season, already bowl eligible. Good game here can go a long way to sway the fans. And look at this slip screen get wide open. Dale Hart harvester has ground andrew simpson's hurt on the play that's unfortunate pretty good linebacker for that group so hopefully he gets okay because look at the hole it leaves for cuna thankfully falling on top of our own fumble harvester needs to do a better job with ball security that's for sure but maybe if we can win jizzy on the recruiting block we'll have a new running back in town as soon as next year a four-star gem that has experience running the rock is a huge asset for the team just like mitch to bell a huge asset mitch was initially here gonna keep it but instead we're gonna audible out since there's like three linebackers in the vicinity we'll go ahead and snap it take our chances with a quick dump to rock inch by inch we're getting closer gonna flick it out to the running back teague who is out of there touchdown let's go ahead and run the option again this time keeping it he's got daylight and a lot of ground might have to get cuna's baseball team to teach him how to slide because he's taking some hits where he shouldn't be that is not good for his health. And now let's call the signature move QB power in the red zone. It works so well for him. Now tied up, we need some points right here to go for the win. Instead, we'll throw the win into Simpson's hands. Pick six. Unbelievable right now that we're still in this game, letting Boise State have a chance. Made too many silly mistakes, got these guys closer to the game than they really should be. And now on fourth and five, we're forced to go for it here. Mitch is a little cold, but he can change it with a nice dime for the first can't get down on the potato kings they may be down but they're not out yet going for bell he holds on oh baby hoping for someone to break free which he does right here let's catch in a run cropper feeling the crop dust oh my gosh that is four tackles broken all the way. When it comes down to it, we're down by three with 15 seconds left. No timeouts. I need another like CJ Cropper type play. Field goal range or bust, and we have to do it quickly. Bell, can you be that guy? Oh my goodness. Can't believe he really caught that right now. And time is going to expire. Two seconds, one second. Nothing we can do about it except hope. And hope no more. That game is over as much as it stings there's no time to pout we have another rivalry game this time it's the harvest heritage showdown against umass mitch looking for win number three as this empty stadium starts rocking the umass minutemen want to stop they're not going to get it calling some audibles to run our own custom mesh here that should do the trick to pick up it on fourth down now going to go back to taking a shot we have an open receiver it's cropper down the sideline brent Aker checks into the game and i'm going to call his name to the sideline he's got it touchdown Brent and hats off to the defense for even giving us an opportunity to kick a 53 yard field goal we could get it and I forgot our kickers are notorious for having small legs despite having a small leg Mitch has got a big arm so let's see if we can cash in and get this team right with a touchdown in the second half first and goal we need to blow someone up and we're not going to it was once a promising rivalry game now it's just a blowout and we're looking for garbage points feels 
feels embarrassing to be down 24 to UMass and that interception sealed our fate. The defensive tackle should be visiting us this next week, but I'm afraid it's too late. Syracuse really about to close down on it. As we progress to the next week, the moment of truth, did we lose out? We know we didn't lose out on Sal Jizzy. We have the running back of the future. Now to compliment the quarterback. Yep, we lost out. So that is heartbreaking. Well, it is Duke week. And although we lost the five star, there are a couple four stars visiting. So it's important nonetheless to take care of business. Optimistic to go into year three upon this foundation. Two wins, seven losses, really not good. But maybe we can walk out of here with three to four wins. With a lot of prospects visiting, I thought we would put up a heck of a lot better of an effort. Instead, I'm smelling a 27 to zero blowout on the turf. Let's go ahead and empty up the backfield. Just call a verticals. It's less than 30 seconds and we're down major. So I just want anything to go our way. One-on-one -on -one ball. It's Cropper cropping right on over him. Only takes one big play for a spark and we're right into the red zone. About to score again until Rock fumbled it. Thankfully recovering here. Now first and goal. Let's go ahead and run the read option. Or, sorry, that's an RPO and it worked to perfection. Sucks to see our defense struggle so much. Now giving up another first down. Defensive blunders again, man. It prevents the comeback from being fully complete. Another one possession game we lose. I think we've gone through quite a few of these in the season so far. Looks like I managed to still get a consolation prize out of Nick Laporta. Trying to make a late run for James Vilma and Russ Epstein. Just two games left in our season. Nevada Wolfpack keep winning. Perfect 5-0 in the conference. Boise State right behind them. Here we are at the bottom, of course. Hawaii and San Diego State know exactly how it feels. I should also include Colorado State. They have two wins on the season, so one of our teams here is going to get their third and i don't know about you i don't take losing very well old mcdonald has been patient but he can only be patient for so long third and 11 we're in a tricky situation but the streak just runs right past the db cropper eat my crop dust calling in brent Aker, the specialist because of this exact reason he's got speed to burn the opposition star underneath fowler nichols name he wants it all right here and gets it down by two we're losing to the rams i need to look for harvester here in the end zone coach sprinkled some inspirational words so he can go out and play like a madman going for it here sending the running back out to the right we have a cover four quarters i hope that's good enough no this is a load of barnacles third and six that is a load of potatoes fourth and 17 this is the game on the line covering every zone we could harper was there to seal it with the dagger interception some happy players some happy fans 24 to 19 at home in the finale against air force if we can get one more win that will make for a four and eight season if we lose it's three and nine regardless kind of a disappointing season but low-key i'm happy because it's year two and progress has been made from 0 and 12 we could only go up from here and if i were a betting man i'd say it would go up from here as well as we fumble the first play of the game to air force it can definitely get our hands full as they have so many lanes and options just like that number 11 touchdown quickly down 14 to zero we have a wide open bell just busted coverage falcons get toasted under a minute to go it's time to play some good textbook football underthrown a little bit rock still hauls it in the mad dash in the final minute is always a chaotic time for teams as they all want some points i'd like to send the community home on a positive note if i can because with winter time slowly approaching it's a lot of work to maintain the farm and they'd be a whole lot happier if their cunic kings could win a game went ahead and took the last time out first and goal four seconds if we can't get a quick strike here then i'm gonna go for three but no need touchdown got rewarded before half got rewarded after half right Right here until I just sold a golden opportunity to tie up this game. Here comes the Air Force secondary down the field. Can we tackle him? Mitch dove and tried. Harvester 21. Everyone trying to get him. Not the way to do it out here. Fumble, strip sack. Air Force recovers. Turnovers lead to points. They're doing a great job converting all the opportunities they get. Their style of football wears you down. So let's just take a one-on-one -on -one ball and hold it in. Okay, now. Down by two touchdowns. It's a race to the finish line. Let's try it again. Why don't we... 
I thought it would work. Definitely silly for thinking the same thing could work twice because that did not work one bit. This will work streaking across the field. It's Bell all the way. Who wants to step up and be a hero in this one? Maybe it's Cropper, maybe it's Mitch. Maybe it'll be Meadow, Bell, Rock. We'll find out. So far, it could be Rock. We tried looking Rock's way, now it's back to Bell's way. He had it the first time and almost had it again. Horrible time for the drive to be stolen out. Fourth and 21. Let's just throw one up. Who is there? It's Harvester and he's got it. Worked so hard to get this far. It's fourth down. Gonna go across to the tight end. Rock. He dropped it. And our season ends on a drop from Boston Rock. This is long overdue, but it's time to cut ties and jump ship. Goodbye, Matt Bailey fired. Goodbye, Joe Menard. Early National Signing Day, we are struggling in the Mountain West. Two four stars, one three star. That's all we got. I just found this offensive coordinator from NIU, and apparently no one's interested in him. He has a pipeline from Nebraska, and you know where Big Mitch is from. Nebraska. Now for defense, there are a few options as well. I'm gonna start by looking for any recruiters. And here we go, Alani Chen is one. So is Glenn Fowler and talk about in a big way. I think Glenn Fowler is my guy if he wants the job. We got Austin Young on offense, but we did not get defense. Alani Chen was the next one on my list. Let's go ahead and offer Chen. And what do you know? It looks like he wanted a taste of the golden potato after all. A cast of potato kings are officially baked. Their time is up in collegiate football. Transfer portal is is hot for our team. Look at all the players open to coming to CUNA. Of course, I add all of them to our board. Now I'm gonna offer a scholarship to every transfer. Old McDonald just managed to snag Bayard. And on the final week of recruiting, we get Steven Johnson, James Vilma, a four-star receiver. We needed that. Zion Moultrie Goddard, okay. Brian Nowark, Julius Watford, not horrible. From the worst class in the Mountain West to third best, we got to work. Training results are in. We're up to an 83 overall, 82 offense, 84 defense. Mitch took a big leap up to 82. I'm not gonna lie, this is shocking to me. I feel like we haven't done a whole lot. We've had a couple okay recruiting classes, nothing to write home about, and all of a sudden, we're up to an 83 overall. Going down the list, looking for more prime candidates. Once again, still dealing with a lot of one and two stars, but there's a few three stars sprinkled in here. And that's exactly what our eyes are set on. Gage Kavka, number one player in the nation. Six foot three, 230, another power back, just like our South. Deron Bland from the Dallas Cowboys, his younger brother, Taquan Bland. We're gonna be trying to get him here. He's a four-star talent, three-star gem. It's game week in CUNA, Idaho, and they have us rated higher than Indiana. Mitch Birmingham, looking for year two to be the year. He takes a massive leap in his progression as he finds Bell for a touchdown. Going for it on fourth down, they're sending the running back in motion and it looks like the receiver broke free another third and goal i'm no expert but i knew that was a big possession massive third down in the corner over here bell is wide open touchdown this very well could be it third in five anyone gonna make a stop anyone want to step up and be a hero not today our last time out on the line this is it and the tackle was not completed but we still get fourth down this is the game right here hoosiers want to go for it get the conversion they will not get it Third and nine, what's it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? No one. Well, here goes nothing, Mitch. Fourth and nine, look at your route, see what you like, and maybe not gonna happen. Brutal missed opportunity. That was a close one. 21-14, CUNY Kings fall in week one. Maybe we just needed the gold uniforms in the gold rush classic. First season, not seeing Evan Sabota out there. So it's a new quarterback in town. And I wonder if he's any good. Clearly good enough to get 10 points before half. That's something we haven't even gotten a single point. Mitch and the Potato Kings need points desperately. Is this gonna be the drive we can finally snap the cold streak? Mark Boyles denied us with a sack and now we have to respond on this drive. Having trouble with our receivers securing the ball, that is a difficult conversation to have and what in the deflected interception touchdown was that? Fourth and 15, ice cold. I have not many other opportunities. The offensive line, what? Shut out by our rival Wyoming. This was unfortunate. Keeping things rolling in this one, we have the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors next. Already down 14-0 for Mitch and the Kings. We have to step it up right now. Come on. Ask and you shall receive first and goal. Sal, go ahead and get your first touchdown in college football. Just under 30 seconds. I'm going to hand it off to Sal. Brings up second and goal. 
Michael scrambling to the right, delivering to Bell on the run. Touchdown. It's all tied up. Sal has carried the rock 16 times for 20 yards. That does not feel very good for a guy with elite dev. And now our own teammates are sabotaging plays. Literally got in the way of that one. I want Bell to step it up right here because he's the only one I can trust. Number 22, Brennan Aker is undersized. I see him right there on the line. He's going to have to throw a block here. Did not work, my man. To get him playing time, he was actually playing up at the tight end position when we had to change positions. And it's probably because of that his ability to run routes. Guess who's back in this game? Kuna. And we can finish off the fourth quarter comeback here on a fourth down stop. Hit stick, fumble. Hartley recovers and he's gonna run down the sideline. Can you believe it, folks? Kuna Kings is Vic victorious first win of year number three right here against hawaii we can maybe go on a run now that some players are starting to get a little hotter big wins and finally some big motion for kuna kings man we got kavka getting the lead on the number one player in the nation i'd love to bring him in it's year three of the rebuild we had the cupcake roster the hardest roster to start with i don't really understand how we're already this good apparently but i know one thing's for sure we're not really playing like a good team at the moment so maybe we'll get right against the aztecs and keep the win streak alive the aztecs are zero and two to start their young season and they hate to see that you know what's worse than zero and two going zero and three and i'm sorry that we're gonna have to give it to him big third and eight here for mitch let's see if he can cut where did that linebacker just come from it's time to lock in and go ahead and get the ball to bell through a crazy interception to a practically hidden linebacker now we're down first and goal you already know we got to feed the man at the one he has the strength to just run right through two minutes here to go brent aker looks like he has separation touchdown cuna kings well okay i mean i can't be mad about what i'm seeing right here go ahead and give him that arm bar and he's injured sal jizzy looks ripped up on the ground in pain yeah you see that right literally one play later he's back into the backfield out here to run the rock my man is iron man out here and i'm just gonna take off with mitch touchdown textbook smash mouth football getting us right down the field and let's go ahead and top it off with a little strike scrambling to our right lobbing one in he caught that that should have been picked so it looks like the cuna kings are gonna walk away with a two-point win over san diego state and whoop there it is trayvon beard our first commit in year three with 80 points freed up you already know i'm gonna go schedule some more visits against opponents like utah state so bring in kafka danny Berger, you two and we're bringing them in on both a plus interests for four-star defensive tackle spoon he's on campus against nevada and we need to make this a visit he'll never forget to spoon feed spoon the royal treatment we brought out the gold unis and the cursive script helmet and what in tarnation that has got to be one of the worst plays i've ever run in college football are you serious i thought it was gonna be a handoff we end up throwing it and i was delayed pick six before spoon gets bored and go gets a spoon in the concession stand we're gonna have to come back can't have my man getting bored up in here so we need jizzy to come through show him what cuna king football is all about my friend there we go big third and four gonna scramble out to the right we got a man if he can just call it and are you kidding me, man? Making touchdowns look so hard. With a lot of football left in this game, we can turn it up in an instant. Hardy, unguarded, number 13, just taking his sweet old time. And as Justin Bieber said, never say never. It's fourth and five. We can still very much be in this thing. Hit your boy, Bell. He did it. And now check us out. Big game, Mitch has led his team right back within three points. Let's take the punt return and go ahead and give Spoon a show. Like I said, he'll never forget. Going to start off the drive with a slant. He's got space. It's Yolito. With a minute 40, I think we got time still to hand the ball off here and there as Sal just has a lane. Still got two timeouts if we're getting anxious here, but I think we have time to get around the defender. Let Mitch cook just a little bit. Putting it back in Mitch his hands here with a read option he's gonna keep it and he has a lane let's just slide down final timeout called i feel like we have to take the 19 yard field goal honestly let's just take it to overtime can't believe we've come all the way back in this one and still have a chance mitch on the power get around there you know it's bleak when coach mcdonald's calling for verticals here this close to the end zone so i'm gonna put yolito on a zig maybe he'll spring free from the defender's grasp and he really does not they recommend we take three but i darn well know if we don't get a touchdown nevada will will and beat us so i'm sending it even though we just lost the game right here unless something miraculous can happen but there wasn't a chance i guess should have took the three points when we could have got it man that is such a bummer 
the battle wins. I don't know how we did it, but Chester Spoon is in. And Taekwon Bland, let's go. This is a great week after all, despite the loss. If I thought this last week was important, well, this game's even more important. Utah State is in town and we have a five star and a four star visiting. Time for redemption on this one here. You're gonna go ahead and float one up. Look at the separation. Yolito down the sideline. Third and goal, what's it gonna be? Let's just go quickly to the tight end. Seriously getting flustered right now by Utah State defense. Fourth and goal, this has to be it. Scrambling to our right. Let's go ahead and try the corner, but that was predictable. Shaking it off in a big way here, going for a big strike. This time, I don't want to get too cute at the end zone, so let's go give it to Sal. Let him put in the work. Boom. Third and six. Bell. Beautiful touch. Handing it right up back off to number one in the red zone. Yes, sir. He had a convoy on that. With a one touchdown cushion, I'm looking to keep it that way and then add some on the offensive side of things. Bazinga. Utah State might need to consider burning their timeouts, which they do. So we'll go ahead and pound it right up the middle again. This time, Sal breaks free touchdown i was complimenting the defense earlier but all of a sudden i don't know what they're doing letting the aggies back in it unfinished business we need to kill the game right now and with that we can take a knee victory formation we got the big win and even bigger two recruits that might commit or at least consider us much more with a huge bonus sal's first ever player of the game 124 yards three touchdowns that's what i like to see the performance has us on the edge of glory with gage and danny we're literally a sliver a sliver away, so it's almost guaranteed next week. On to one of our toughest matchups outside of Indiana in week one. It's the Fresno State Bulldogs. It's time to see if Mitch means business today. Fourth and four. This is a big play looming over the middle to Cropper. Where in the world was that going? You blink and you're already down in this game, 17 to zero. It's hard to say that really anything is working in today's game. Maybe a bell could change it. Pass midfield. We got a step on our man, delivering in time in the face of pressure. Hello, end zone. Six seconds left, five seconds left. I want to smell the end zone one more time here before half. So let's scramble to our right and just tuck it and run. Touchdown as clock expires. Fresno State red hot in the first half is kind of stalled out here in the second half. I'm ready for a little spud attack here. Aker going it out. He's got it. Yes, the tight end. Need the drive to continue to stay alive. So what's it going to be? A little bomb to Cropper? I think so. You've got to fight for your right to party with the potatoes. And this should be pay dirt. Now we can say it's going to be pay dirt. Up the middle, Sal falls in. It's never over till the final whistle. And Fresno State's got all their timeouts. They can do us a favor here and kiss those timeouts goodbye because the linebacker was there for the interception. Sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. Here we go. It's time to bring them out. Starting off with Valami Nakang from New Jersey. Safety is here. Chris Bowman Co. middle linebacker. And boom, there it is. The first five-star commit in CUNA King history. Gage Kovka, the number one ranked player in all of the nation, has decided to come to CUNA, Idaho and play for the Potato Kings. Believe it or not, we finally have a road game. It feels like an eternity that homestand was. And I'm not sure how we got away with the schedule we did because getting seven games in a row at home is like the ultimate advantage. Two straight field goals and back-to-back -back possessions for the Rams. We just want to get ourselves a good sustainable drive. And the Colorado State Rams know a thing or two about sustainable programs at their academic institute. How about a sustainable drive and pound? from the jizzy master that's right he had a good run there let's go ahead and feed him again on the fake jet touch off to sell could not get a block yet he slips and slides that play got busted i'm surprised we actually stood up and actually had a chance that one no chance about it it's money and okay our running back hardy here looks wide open i'd be a fool not to throw it to him they're stacking everyone and their mother on the line here so let's cap it off to our big old tight end Ain't no way. Animations, I think, did us dirty. That's right. I'm blaming it on the animations, but this was a friendly one. Touchdown. All out of timeouts. It's third and six. Rams want to hand it off and ice this thing out. We'll get another chance. Ah, who am I kidding? They want to go for it on fourth and five, so they effectively want to end everything right here, right now. Make a play on defense. No. It really came down to right there, right then. Just need to win two of these games to be bowl eligible. And based on records alone, maybe James Matt 
Madison and Air Force. Let's pack our bags and catch our flight to North Carolina to see what Duke is all about. And here they come out of their tunnel, ready to make a splash. They have a Heisman candidate in a sophomore receiver. Malik Murphy over here for Duke must be a pretty good quarterback right now. He's in year three. While we have his team down to zero points, we have to take advantage of that opportunity and score some of our own. Now our second chance for points, and we're gonna go ahead and go for it again on fourth down. No one else than Bell. Birmingham's getting really cold and he just needs points. That will warm him up toastily. Y'all ever tried cold potatoes? I don't think they're that good. So let's go ahead and warm our boy up and drop a dot right into the bucket. That's Bell and he is so out of there. Little skirt to the right for emphasis. Malik Murphy starting to respond, going toe to toe with us as Birmingham is also ready to battle. Third and inches, Mitch is ready to do it himself. Gonna read this and take the power, get the block, cut left, back to the right get another block he's going and he's gone that was money up by eight threatening again this game could go south for duke any minute they are five and three and the last thing they expected was a cuna idaho team to do this type of magic on them oh man honestly that's what duke gets when their best receiver was talking smack on social media all week long blowing up his dm saying mitch is not that guy cuna kings come on the road upset the blue devils five and four one win away from bull eligibility will james madison be the next victim james madison is two and seven and sometimes when the momentum is not going your way you can just tell so i feel bad for these guys and i hope they can turn it around but obviously they're not going to turn it around against the cuna kings that's for sure as there are no plans of letting up whatsoever touchdown sal calling up the x dagger we have him across the middle it's cropper looking for a heavy dose of crop dust on this one there he is again back to brent first down let's hurry it up clock is expiring three two uh oh this is gonna be our last chance so we better make it count and it's not pretty rough clock management to be honest on that last one this one i think that's cropper leaving a trail of crop dust as he dropped it back in the saddle over the dukes no thanks to cropper i can tell you that much jizzy walking it all the way in fumbled it out of bounds really unbelievable from sal he better be getting a lot of spankings from coach jmu's really going for it rather than taking their three points and they got the conversion touchdown this game's over sal is in a doghouse really really sold it in this one a couple more commits like four star emmanuel dykes that's what's up and jamal keller four star right guard on the road against the florida atlantic owls we get to head to the east coast and then soak up some sun out there doesn't bother me or the idaho players as they get to go to the beach third and and six that's okay quick out here to cropper and he's cropping his way through now we're talking stepping up it's mitch time on the run right back to the man eat my crop dust baby i'm noticing that when competition's tougher we play up to the competition but the same is also true when it's weaker we play down owls just ragdolling us throwing us into the ground but that's okay we'll strike right on back touchdown ziedler points easy come easy go for this unit today as we just dot them up with another one second in one dumping it to brent aker holding on that's tough matter of fact our team is tough right now zigging it out it's bell to the house a rampage truly fit for a king it's fourth and five the owls are done for i better watch my mouth though fourth and goal they can get some points and they do everything they did not want to happen is happening right here right now Put it on them. And there you have it, folks. CUNY King fans, you get to travel home safely. And Old McDonald lets his boys hit the beach after this royal romp. I think we got a good amount of spruce trees in Idaho. Freddie Spruce looks to be one of them joining the ranks. Really rough year for the Air Force Falcons. Let's finish off year three in Colorado Springs. There is the flyover, a scenic one in Colorado Springs. This is always a fun environment, high altitude, good place to play. 10-0. I can see how these guys are two in nine the defense feels suspect at best and the offense here is getting desperate going for it on fourth down they do convert so yeah i guess i'm gonna have to redact what i said earlier about air force because they have a big cushion now up by six fourth and two air force really going for it here can we stop them on fourth and two no how to timeouts we're on pace to lose it here a monster sack helps but up by nine points was way too much to come back we needed an onside kick to win it and yeah 
we didn't get it so 15 points in the fourth quarter it fell short and air force a two and nine team just like a two win james madison beats us experts are saying that we'll get the famous idaho potato bowl my fingers are crossed please oh man they got me it's the armed forces bowl against marshall a bowl game nonetheless which we're grateful for but it could have been truly iconic to keep the potatoes on the blue field for the famous idaho potato bowl early national signing day you scroll down this list and what do you see Number 20 in the nation. CUNA just had their best year yet and best class yet. Excited to jump into our bowl game against Marshall. This is history for the program. Massive applause for Old McDonald for getting the Kings in a position to play in a big game like this. Bowl season's always so much fun. Defense has been the story in this one. I don't know who is going to strike first because look at the defense. Both teams refusing to give an inch. That's exactly the type of game this is going to be as there we go. First down. Let's go. 36 seconds. We have to hurry up to the line and strike quickly in this one. Just going to let it rip deep. I think he has a step. Oh, Cropper. What could have and should have been while getting hit though we find Yolito and hey I'll take it now with 21 seconds to work I think we got him he's got a step is that our guy Bell who else would it be touch down Marshall trying to thunder their way down the field here and score now third and three what do they have up their sleeve it's a quick slant and score so that confirms it we definitely have a battle on our hands in our first ever bowl game Brent Aker spinning first and goal leaving defense mainly behind in the first half this second half is all about points touchdown Mitch into the crowd jumping over a photographer one quarter three minutes of football left to determine the fate of Marshall versus Kuna they take their three and now we we get a chance to say our part gonna go for a one ball here intercepted are you kidding definitely not enough bite from our guys there going back for the ball so they get a chance to convert and they do just that all the way to the house touchdown unfortunately heartbreak at the end because of that last score marshall 24 cuna 21 this team is going somewhere just like all of these seniors graduating congrats four players in the transfer portal want to come to cuna so we'll go ahead and recruit them all let's go ahead and top off our list with a few more recruits and now on national signing day we move up one spot to 19 with trading results the cuna kings are up to an 85 overall 86 offense 85 defense going into year four gage Kavka, the number one player in the nation, comes in at star development. James Vilma from year two recruiting is no longer messing around. Sophomore getting himself right in the lineup. A bunch of juniors ahead here on the defensive tackle depth chart, but Chester Spoon is no pushover. 77 overall. Only a normal development. That kind of blows, but it's nice to have him here. Checking in on our other five-star player, it's Danny Berger. And bang, we hit that one deep from downtown. Elite development trait. This is your next no-fly zone. Getting only half a star upgrade in the prestige world this is huge for the recruiting prospects you now got guys like pete brantley who are actually interested in cuna idaho cooking up something nice in the kitchen we found our guys and of course take risks on four to five five stars as well not overkill but just enough to keep things interesting because when you see a robert cobb you want his corn to join our potato patch i'm seriously heartbroken my man's already locked us out and chose his top eight don't mind me just casually looking for another quarterback with a cool last name oh my goodness this just might be a really good consolation prize emmanuel pepper gonna go ahead and scout him out hopefully he is the chosen one well i guess it's good enough for me that he's not a bust let's take a break on the recruiting front and jump in against the tar heels first game of year four i expect the stands to be packed with fans as we're just off the bowl game run excited to see what mitch and the kings got in the tank and this is not gonna go off our way challenge level was definitely going to be maxed out because north carolina is no joke with those rankings man i couldn't even what i didn't even throw it to that guy got sacked the ball went ricocheted way off to the right and they're gonna pick six this thing safe to say i know why this team's top 10 i would guess their defense has a big part to play in that rank just like sal jizzy has a great part to play in our offense can't forget we just brought in kavka a five-star running back so there's two guys that are young and very good just like this young receiver taking a sophomore lead give it up for number 15 vilma end of the first half i hope you like getting your potato smoked because we're getting destroyed 28 to 10 we knew we were gonna lose but we brought it back within 10 so i'm encouraged tar heels took care of business last week it's time for the gold rush classic wyoming cowboys were on the road let mountain west play begin you already know what it is it's a conquest 
for the gold rush. We're out in Wyoming. This feels like a little blast from the past down memory lane. We're here where Mitch had his first glimpse of greatness. We still lost the game, but like I said back then, you never forget your first touchdown pass. And that's exactly what we did at this field. Just because of that reason, I think good luck is on our side for today's ball game. I mean, look at us plow. Plow took like three, four steps and then dropped it. Are you kidding? By that logic, it could have been a fumble for how many steps he took. I'm just letting plow get plowed play after play. He can't seem to hold any of them on because the defense is swarming. Until that monster play got us right down within the red zone. Let's go throw it out to Hardy. Hardy boy, little showboat and touchdown, big six. Let's ball. Running a little read option here. Mitch keeps it. Bad idea. So he goes and passes the very next play right to plow. How that man got stopped at the inches line beats me, but Jizz will go right on in and finish it off. Gonna go ahead and use the curl flat. There it is. Vilma first and goal. And then nothing like a good stick to go ahead and get the job done. What did I say? Trying to get a snap off. Come on, snap that thing, Cuzzo, and go for the end zone. Cropper, he's in there as time expires. Did I say we were finished? Not at all. Job's not done yet, so go ahead with a jet touch pass. Cut it in and out. Crop dust trails everywhere you look. Five out of five stars would do again. I could have guessed this one, player of the week. But would you have believed me if I told you we were in the lead for Matt Fogg, a five-star gem right tackle? I knew it was gonna be a battle for Pepper. Notre Dame really wants him, so as soon as the visits open up, I'm scheduling. Doesn't your mouth water when you just think of Pepper to ham for touchdowns? On paper here, we can see Hawaii looks severely outmatched. 74 overall they're falling off a cliff if the overall on the paper is true this should be a day where our team can pat stad on the opposition and so far we're getting clamped old mcdonald seriously called for a go for it on fourth down bada bing bada boom next thing you know we're ice cold and losing to hawaii out here this is not what i had on my bingo card fourth and inches it's halftime they're going for it on uh, I called up run up the middle. I called the run up the middle and the defense, he just walked into a sack. It looked like the defensive end was there to give him a big hug. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that blunder and run with it. Sal, looking to make one man miss, broke his ankles badly going down to the six. Absolutely crumpled that cornerback's legs. That was insane. After doing that, you have to go ahead and get points and Rawling secures it for us. Next one up to score. I think I got you on the list, Cropper. I wanna double down and say, I don't believe the overall ratings when Hawaii's playing us this tough. And can we all just take a second there to say, what was that? HB directs snap runs backwards on fourth and inches you just can't have it and a thing that you can't have is letting guys like Vilma get hot Mitch will happily take the blunder and go prove his prowess as a quarterback now a junior in an improving team there aren't as many excuses that he could say for underperformance so let's go and show him what a star looks like Cropper down the sideline past the 10 in major, major touchdown. Let's complete this thing. Fourth down, major sack. That's ball game. Knocking out timeouts and going to knock out their hopes and dreams with a touchdown. Vilma villain style. 35-30 Hawaii maybe next year. Dripping out in all great alternates. It's Utah State week. The road show continues for the third straight week. At least Utah is a little closer to Idaho than Hawaii. Ready and well rested. Let's get to work with a touchdown and run over get out of my way type truck. Fourth and four, they're already taking chances today and I don't think it's gonna fly. Sack, turnover. The way these games have been going, Mitch and the Kings feel like they can take on anyone in the Mountain West. Continuing our case, we're gonna throw in dot one up to CJ Cropper. Did any of you predict 21-0 in the first half? If not, how about 28-0? Because on this play, let's go ahead and just go get it. Spruce, freshman tight end, drag the toes, you're in. Might have to just come check in with you guys once the smoke clears. 28-3, Mitch with so much green grass in front. Yeah, um, Utah State, how do I say this? 49-13, better luck next decade? I kid you not, I think we've had a Mountain West Player of the Week every week so far. This week was just extra special, that's two. Now normally I would make fun of the Nevada Wolfpack because they are like the second worst team in the FBS from last year, but for some reason I've noticed in my Dynasty Rebuilds there's like a 50% chance they blossom into a top 15 ranked team. And Old McDonald hates to be the guy to come to your city and make you look silly on your own home turf, 
but it's what we got to do now. We've come so far just to hit a field goal. So of course, we're going to send this thing to the corner. It's Cropper. Textbook pass, textbook catch. Now Sal's trying to finish this thing off. Third time's a charm, pounding the rock again, hitting that outside with some speed. He's in. The howl of the wolf pack it is screeching loud up in here. And I don't know where we were going on that pass. He's really gonna pick six this thing and we're in jeopardy now against Nevada. Just past midfield, it sounds like a good time to go ahead and make a big play. We're gonna step up, throw it back to Hardy. Yes, we got the whole defense fooled and we're into the red zone. We've seen a lot of spruce action, but how about Dykes, the other tight end? Well, he's not open on this one. Young Jr. is, and he just plowed his way in. Third and 13, a little more urgency needed here. So let's go ahead and go for the quick strike. Dykes, no. He looked so good, so open. Fourth and 13, over the middle. Come on, big plow. Bruh, I can't believe we just walked in here and laid an egg. Congrats to Nevada for winning their first game of the season. Quickly turning the page with our first commit out of the Bronx. With two players visiting us this week, it's a battle for royalty. Old Dominion looks solid with a star quarterback back there, and I think they are progressing better than some Mountain West teams. Our unit needs to bend, not break, in this goal line stand. And we could go ahead and get that final stand here, third and six. Knocked down for a fourth. Holding the opponent to a field goal, that's a win in our book. And double win, he missed. Mitch saw the miss kick and inspired his troops to get back out here on this field. Wide open cropper right into the red zone. Two big plays later, we're all the way here. And let's finish it off with a touchdown to Vilma. Old McDonald keeps reminding his team that four star prospects are visiting us. And so for the sake of the future here, we need to win. And it seems to be an effective strategy because we're playing hard and taking back the lead. Mitch and Plow developing a nice connection here. Both have the fire logo as he just went and snagged that out of the linebacker's hands. When you're hot, you're hot. Let's cook. And I want to keep cooking. This time, Rawlings is hungry. I feel like this play is for Cropper. So let's go ahead and give it to him. Thank you, sir. If I had to take a bet, I bet I could look at the school records and see his name atop the receiving touchdown list. Huge moment right here in this game. If they don't get it, which they don't, it's our ball. And I'm not saying it's over yet because eight points, a lot can happen. Just like a fumble ruski recovered by Old Dominion. Tried to get cute and ice out the game. It really backfired. And now we're looking at a Old Dominion team down the field. Breathing a small sigh of relief. They score a touchdown, miss the two-point conversion. And now we're one first down away and one timeout away from this one going dark abusing the jet touch pass i wonder if adaptive ai is about to kick in coach old mcdonald tells his guys to go for it like no kidding it was a coach recommendation here we don't get it it turns over to old dominion in practically 10 yards or so away from field goal range so this is a must get on fourth down teammate interference for the drop this is not a drill our teammate knocked the ball down from our other teammate and no we get cooked that's gonna do a bad taste in old mcdonald's mouth at least we still have all our timeouts that's as much as i can say let's rush right back to the line if they're gonna give us right up the middle of the field why the heck would i not take this every time let's spread them out with four seconds left third and six want a hero are we gonna get one go into the end zone vilma it falls to the ground in defeat this absolutely could not have happened. This is insane. 19 points in the fourth quarter, two four-star prospects here, including Pepper. I think it could be wraps for our dreams. We got one and we got another, but not Pepper. Just kidding, there's Pepper. Halfway point in the Mountain West, we're three and three. More importantly, three and one in conference play. If we keep taking business here, we might meet in the Gem State Grudge Match Championship Edition. Before we can think about championships, we need to think about Fresno State. What will be the game plan in today's game against the dogs do we pound and ground or do we ground and pound back and forth this ball game has gone we are in the red zone once again threatening and guess who none other than sal jizz with the big score our dude is a versatile dual threat just like plow has butter fingers plow that was not very kind of you cropper on the other hand redeemed him fresno state looking to scare us once more back within five we need these points i mean it when i said we're not messing around with the bulldogs this year 
We've done enough of that in the past. Plow, I can't stop looking your way because you're open. Thank you. This time securing it in. Here we go again. Fourth and two. He's not going to get it this time. Gates seals this one out, running down the sideline with one hand all over that pig skin. Beautiful pick six. Showboat. Gates. Touchdown. What did I say? We came, we saw, we conquered. One small step for Kuna and one giant leap for Potato Kind. Onward and upward, our ascent continues against UNLV. Obviously, old McDonald never wishes ill on his team, but he's secretly hoping that they get like seven wins this year so they can go bowling in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. I'm just messing. He wants his team to get as many wins as they can. But selfishly, I can't stop thinking about how cool it'd be to play in that game. Mash them up, bake them up, stick it on a skew massive connection a cropper over the stadium pulse i was able to audible the vilma to send him on a corner route because i saw something in the secondary that made me think it was free send in an overload blitz here on third and inches i know there's only 13 seconds left so it's probably unlikely he was gonna run the ball but amazing open field tackle right there. Did the trick and held him to a three point attempt. Needed another trick on defense, but couldn't get it done here in the third quarter. So it's back to the offense we go. Vilma raises his hand, says, I'm here coach. The game against Yolna V right now is turning into a good one. Cutting it back field all the way to the left. We have one man to beat. And if I had a block there, that would have been a crazy touchdown. Could have been a movie, but instead we gave the ball back up to UNLV cashing in for the lead. Third and massive. We're going to go hit our streaking receiver who got past him. Vilma to the house. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. They need this drive bad and they're going to get it and some two down to first and goal. Find it, dial it up, and cash in for points. That's what they did. Here it is, past midfield, no going back now. Fourth down, easy call when you see two linebackers blitzing. Thanks to them, we get, thanks to a choke job by Mitch, we lose by three. Should have had the UNLV game under control, but now facing the Colorado State Rams, there is no excuse. I'm not just saying that because the Rams are a two-win team. I'm saying it because we have a five-star recruit in attendance for this one. And he's on the sideline witnessing our team offensive hold, and the offensive lineman surely thinks he can help. So you see, we need his services, which is why we need to dial it in like that strike to Hardy. In the red zone, huge third down. Let's go for a strike out of reach of the tight end intercepted despite the hard effort it ended up in the wrong hands not this time plow has this one this one always gets the defense a little confused here as you can tell they don't know where it's going where we're going minus 10 was the right answer on the last one so i want to try it again because i don't believe that is the result every time absolutely not hardy way to go there's no way we don't redeem ourselves like we just did there bell's gonna spring it into first and goal mode and i'll go ahead and try one more time kavka kick it up the gear up the middle up down to the one he had his chances there now it's cropper to finish it off the way this game has been going our offense on fire they need this fourth down and a sack ends their drive in their hopes of winning were squashed long ago 42 28 cuna kings get the win they deserve at the game this week leon liked what he saw and so did matt fogg at a david Port, Iowa. Pat Fort Knox, cornerback supreme. After the bye week, we got Chip Coleman. Harvest Heritage Showdown out of Massachusetts. The Minutemen are heading all the way across country to Idaho. First in goal, Mitch likes to get behind a convoy of blockers and just kick it up another gear. Touchdown. With seven seconds left before half, Mitch was able to get the team right down in to the red zone and hit his man for the touchdown. It's clear to see even at two and six with nothing left to play for this season, a rivalry game is all the inspiration they needed. Fourth and inches in the red zone. Where was the quarterback looking? Allegro all the way to the house. Will the linebacker have the Jets to finish this one off? Yes, 15. How do you do? Old McDonald pumped about the win. That's bull eligibility. Now in the bull projection list. I'm curious if we're up in here somewhere. Not the Armed Forces Bowl again, please. Give me the Idaho Potato Bowl. How do we get the Idaho Potato Bowl? Well, it starts winning here against Air Force and then beating Army the following. I feel like it rains a lot here in CUNA, Idaho. I'm not really sure. It seems abnormal with the amount of games they've given us in the rain. Thankfully, Mitch comes well equipped with the weather umbrella, as you can tell underneath his badge. Offensive line was not well equipped for that last pressure by the defense, and we're gonna go for it on fourth down. For a split second, I didn't think we got it, but Spruce 
had some reach in him. Way to go, Sprucey. And now on the jet touch, we have it all. Touchdown beautiful one thing leads to another respectfully to the air force falcons they're one and nine there's no reason we should be close at all in any of this game and bing go cropper i'm telling you right now it's going to be very difficult to replace that man and vilma is going to have to be one to do it essentially at the two we just need to take the easy route and that is guess who Cropper. Military Service Academy's definitely got nerfed from NCAA 14 to College Football 25. And there we go. Another win, 28-7. Showtime in our season finale against 1-9 Army. We have a whopping 60-70 fans in the stands, but this one truly goes out to them for their dedication to the team. Expecting some trickery here on fourth down. No siree. We can't forget it's senior day, and it's all about the ones that sacrificed so much to make this team what it is today. I'm especially going to be calling Cropper's name today because he is like 40 yards away from a thousand piece on the season. We're going to look to continue the onslaught one more time to Cropper. Got to be careful not to hospitalize that man in his final game. Instead, let's go to the young gun, the future in Spruce. The ever pressing question, will the Black Knights even get on the board this game? Take your bets now. I'm going to say no. I don't think they will get on the board. Realistically, it's extremely difficult. And I mean, extremely extremely difficult to shut anyone out in college football 25 but our best chance is right in front of us and bummer what did i say it is hard to shut someone out in college football 25 and it's not gonna happen today i ain't worried about it and since it's senior day i want to say thank you to plow for all of his contributions touchdown baby and there you go old mcdonald celebrate you done yourself a great service eight wins four losses this was one heck of a year. Bull projections were wrong last time I looked at it, but I'm hoping we have a good chance for the Potato Bowl. For whatever reason, they really want Hawaii to get in there and they wanna send us to the Hawaii Bowl. I guess it's best we just wait and see as Alani Cheek joins the ranks. The moment of truth before we get there, Sateki Choi, four-star DT from Hawaii says yes to the CUNY Kings. 2027 Heisman winner, shout out to Eli Holstein. Whereas our guy won the best defensive back award in the nation. I mean, 75 tackles seems a bit high for a corner, but only two ints. Man, are you serious right now? Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but we're right back at the same bowl game. This time against Troy, I guess they really wanna see Old McDonald again, and this time they want him to win. Before we get to the game early national signing day, we have the 16th best class in all the nation. We're back in Fort Worth, Texas, where we were last year. This time Time, it's Troy and this time it's going to be different. Let's go for the win. Well, McDonald had a farm and on that farm, he's requesting more touchdowns. Mitch threw for 45 touchdowns this season. A pretty solid clip, a little too many interceptions, but make it 46. Here's the snap. Number five surveys strikes quickly. I got baited so bad on that. I want Pater before the quarter expires, so I quickly snap it again, hit him for the touchdown. It's Vilma. Comebacks need aggressive, risky plays, and a fourth and two is the play we call up keeping the drive alive. Never say die. This unit is far from giving up. This team has worked way too hard for the season to go up in flames, so I need to do something about it. Not so much me, more so I need Mitch to step up and lead. Show me what you got, big man. I'm gonna be quiet now. Not a happy camper at all with how that last one turned out. A fumble just cost us the game. I will go and score right now, but it's not gonna matter if we don't get the onside kick because we're all out of timeouts and this game is over. I think my success rate is still uber low on these things. So let's go ahead and slam the ball. And yeah, that went not even close to 10 yards. Sigh, that's two years in a row we dropped the Armed Forces Bowl. I guess it just means there's a lot more to look forward to and anticipate, especially in year number five. We turn our attention to the transfer portal and I look down at the list, see Ben McKay, four-star right outside linebacker from Ohio State. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And so many more. National signing day and we see our team crack the list at the 12th spot. The training results are in Mitch Birmingham, leading the group. Couple other notable callouts, Danny Berger up to an 87. I'm curious what some of our recruits came in at. I want to start off with Pepper, Elite, Dev, 
trades. Just because I'm curious about Siante Bullock, he's pretty high overall. He is an impact, so Pepper, lock it in. Our prestige seriously must be going up as there are a lot of five stars now available to recruit. Kerry Forrester, the number one player in all of the nation, best defensive tackle would be a huge upgrade. Our board is set, scouted, and even replenished with new prospects because some were busts. I like what I see, and I too like what I see here in this season's schedule starting off against New Mexico. A couple Mountain West matchups before jumping into the Harvest Heritage Showdown road game against Temple, more conference matchups, including the Gold Rush Classic, before finishing off the season with number five, Pittsburgh and Old Miss. I can't wait to see the test those teams bring. Only thing that's missing is our Gem State grudge match. Being in the same conference, we can't schedule around the set matchups that the Mountain West has predestined for us. Third and five, let's just take the out over here to Vilma, who cuts it up the field. Touchdown. They are definitely giving Old McDonald a nice little scare in the season opener until Kiero says, give me some touchdown. Seriously begging this offensive line to hold a block. Come on, guys. And that is textbook blocking all the way. And goodbye. Lobos out of timeouts. A touchdown here ends this thing if it wasn't already over. 1-0 in the young season. We got a good one on our hands. And it's time for another interconference game against Fresno State. Oh, yeah. We got a streaking receiver down at the left side of the field. Really, Mitch? We're still doing this? For that mistake, I am banishing him to the gulag for just one play. Spice up our potatoes. Get some pepper on them, suckers. Let's go across the middle of the field. I don't mind leaving him in the gulag a little longer. Mitch can wait as we dot up our receiver for his first ever collegiate touchdown. Coach McDonald said he would put back Mitch into this game, but I think he's fallen in love with the six foot five frame of Pepper. I mean, how could you not love what you see? The gunslinger knows how to hit a man in stride. Accurate ball all the way. Showboat and Vilma. 37 seconds left. Bell put on a great move. That's a touchdown over the middle. Um, Guys, once you go Pepper, you never go back. 370 yards, six touchdowns. Mitch, I'm sorry to do it to you, but I think I have to bench you for the rest of the the season. This is exactly what Mitch did not want to happen, but I just can't believe our little experiment led to six touchdowns from Pepper. And man, Mitch, you're still really good. You're that guy too. Mitch was not to be outdone. He came back in this game determined to show that he still belongs on this team, belongs as the quarterback. It was never in question until I just got a good look at Emmanuel Pepper in his first collegiate game ever. Mitch Birmingham is better in every department, speed, acceleration, agility, throw power, and most accuracies, as well as handling pressure. So with that, Old McDonald recognizes how everyone is super excited about Pepper in the future here of the CUNA Kings. We're going to go ahead and let Mitch get another start. Let's respect our senior that put in the blood, sweat, and tears to get here. Now, this decision is contingent on the fact that he wins us the Harvest Heritage Showdown. If he sells the bag and loses this game, all bets are off. Old McDonald's going straight to the pepper shack. Mitch Birmingham is the CUNA King all-time record holder in practically every passing category. I don't think there's one he doesn't have. Anyone remember Farmer Brown from year one? Yeah, buddy's out on a nice potato farm right now while our team is going to work ready to win ourselves a championship second and goal we've gotten all the way down here after all let's finish it off austin with the stop it's third and goal let's see what we're made of across the middle yes heitman i get it's a rivalry game but what are we doing down by two scores we had a deal mitch and now the team is down by 10 i don't think there's been enough leadership on the offensive side of the ball the fans were clamoring so old mcdonald is gonna go ahead and give the people what they want here he is pepper in the flesh gonna come out and get a quick strike coming in fresh off the bench in the fourth quarter that's a tough ask for anyone no matter how seasoned you are back at it again gonna go ahead and find the open receiver i'm telling you right now if pepper can lead this comeback do the unthinkable he's gonna go ahead and have the job going forward this is seriously risky business right here fourth and three choosing to go for it rather than settle for three points i don't know what we're thinking still not over yet we can go ahead and strike right back into this thing what a catch what a broken tackle we're in business straight up brain fart blowing a timeout and now it's third and 13 and we only got one of them things left that is terrible at least this corner shot is going to go in for six do you believe in miracles we need something right now 
UMass sure handily recovers. Can't blame Pepper one bit. He came in and delivered. Just lost a five star in the race. I'm gonna go ahead and not take any more chances. Kerry Forrester, come see us against Utah State. We're a championship contender. I know you like that, so go ahead and attend a team meeting. No more Mr. Nice Guy for Old McDonald. It's Pepper starting against Temple, his first ever collegiate start. And I understand it goes way deeper than just the quarterback position. But in today's college football landscape, you can't risk having a star quarterback on the bench or else he might hit the portal. Look forward to seeing what Pepper can do as an encore now in his first collegiate start. Let's go ahead and drop the big one on the first drive. A textbook dink dunk home run slam dunk dr pepper out here has a way with the fellas i can't lie and around power that was terrible until it wasn't not sure why the defense high key gave up on that play because over here we never back down never what never give up touchdown pepper to Kane. don't mind us coming on in up 28 to nothing looking to make it 35 zip keeping calm under pressure there hitting heitman for another touchdown this is getting hysterical this team cuna kings look like world beaters playing like this i really did try to give our guy mitch another chance but when pepper is playing like this i don't think he'll ever see the field again oh no on that last sack he got hurt i literally jinxed it i said mitch is never gonna see the field again i was wrong and guess who's back because of an unfortunate injury i really hope that was not a costly one for the long haul just a bruised knee he will return so that's good news up 35 zip i don't feel too bad about letting mitch back in this game as he's steps into that one and delivers a nice touchdown to Bell. Shut down, complete domination. That's how we play football, folks. His performance earns Mountain West Player of the Week honors. Old McDonald turns his attention to Utah State as there are two five-star prospects on the sideline watching the game today and spectating. They want to see where they can fit in on the roster. And trust me, they definitely can fit right in on this team. I absolutely believe it. Recruiting one of the best players in the nation is always a special thing, but recruiting two of them in the same class, that's next level. About midfield here, let's go ahead and take a shot deep to the running back right into his lap. That was textbook accuracy. Fourth and eight, what's it gonna be? A blow by here by number 14. That's Heitman holding it in first and goal. In these situations, you definitely better call Sal. Let's go up the gut. And now that we got them thinking about him, let's go ahead and jet touch it to Vilma. Inching, inching, inching ever so close. Inches, and I mean inches away. We literally just need the textbook carry in by Emmanuel Pepper. A closer game than the first two games he he stepped into that is another costly interception that's gonna go to the house he is flawed and human after all facing some adversity how will pepper respond well for starters we can go ahead and take the open man in heitman and on this one let's go ahead with the flood defense was large on this next one here giving us opportunistic real estate practically first in goal another touch pass he's got the edge vil putting the villain into it keep the aggies out of the end zone and now we actually have a ball game on our hands a blow by here from bell he is so good with the deep ball i'm impressed with pepper's arm first and goal it's definitely going down for real what a textbook dive deflection that was burger playing like a superhero out here and he also can step in and make a tackle holding on the offensive line let's push that back second and goal at the 15 or third and goal at the six i'll take my chances and go for an extra down it's second and 15 looking for pay dirt going for it all I guess we chose wrong. Just need a dink and dunk. No need to go for it all right here on this play. Even though I did like what I see slipping through, it's Kane. I like how Pepper fit that one in, and then he's going to hand it off to Sal, who gets the touchdown. First and goal. We need some help out here. Utah State looking for an open receiver. He's got one back there. Instead, he stepped up. Definitely ate it on that last one, and he's going to eat cheese as Demarion or Demarvin Cheese 27 is going to take it back. That's a game ceiling clinching interception for 27. I love a cheesy play here and there. That's my senior cornerback. Absolutely thrilling game here against the Aggies. Jimmy Waitman can no longer wait up. He had to become a CUNY King after that thrilling victory. The show must go on. Bring on the Nevada Wolfpack. Four and one. I'm definitely happy with how the season is progressing this far. We're going to also start here on defense in this one, trying to hold the Wolfpack down. Limiting them to only three points is a big win for the group. That fumble is not a big win. Unless we figure it out on offense, this one could become very defensive very quick. No more Mr. 
nice guy for Pepper. Let's step into something. Spreading out all the guys. Someone's going to get open. And yep, 14 or 15. It was going to be one of them. First big pass play all game. And it's already the second quarter. Lobbing that one while getting hit. Interception. Perks of having a senior experienced quarterback. Well, we might need to call on his name if we get colder. Everyone knows it's Pepper's team going into the future. But right now, we want to win as many games as we can. Don't need to solidify on a QB, QB1. I'm happy with giving Mitch more reps in his senior season. So mark your calendars. We're going to get another Mitch Birmingham start as it has been shaky for Pepper this one through. Being blitzed out of his jock strap right now. I hate to see the damage being done. Again, I'm just going to come on record. This is not the same guy I remember who can chuck deep bombs just like that. That right there is the version of the guy I know fumbling and recovering his own thing are you kidding me bell wolf pack in the driver's seat looking for a score it might just be best to let him score to be honest because if they really wanted to they can chew a whole lot more clock than they're doing if they had iq they could have took the clock all the way down to zero and took a field goal that is a double edged sword scoring so soon and man is gonna lay it out on the line scrambling to his right stepping into it kane down the sideline big play i can confidently say he will atone for all the mistakes if he makes big big plays here definitely willing to look past it if we can cash in for six that is a risky one to do it yep another mistake losing on the home turf is painful despite the loss nothing can rain on this parade as carrie forrester is headed to cuna idaho got that hotline bling because we also were able to ring up garrett murphy and entice him to come as well forget it let's party james palico is on his way too it's the gold rush classic against the wyoming cowboys mitch is back that is right sound the bells team always came first for birmingham so as much as he disliked the choice by coach McDonald, he stuck with it. And to prove to old McDonald he was the right choice all along, let's go ahead and score six and get the lead. Climbing our way out of a pit, across the middle, it's hype man. We're up two scores. Hardly any safeties back there. That's going to spell trouble. A breakaway play, the speed unparalleled from Bell. Third and 19, not much hope in sustaining this drive, but maybe the jet touch pass can and will do it bell is out of there oh my goodness once he gets into the open field you and not catching that man great defense after all all the way to the very end six points given up in the first quarter couldn't stop the 38 kuna gave in return hawaii is just the next one up to catch these hands and it is surprising to me that they've rebuilt themselves into a six and two caliber team in just year five where is he going walking out of bounds like that are you kidding me that's unacceptable play right there just walking out of bounds on a free touchdown but birmingham the boys get a chance to get some cushion and just take off a monster fumble. Gotta be cautious about the hits we take and slide whenever possible. Opportunities to come back in this one are dwindling down wide open. 38 just had a free lane. With the free lane, he cashed in. So that's that. And that's another classic Mitch interception padding the all-time career interception list dude clearly the decision to go back to mitch has not panned out exactly like we thought it would can't report it's been okay this game in particular has been messy though and it's even messier just trying to get rid of it another interception this time all the way for a pick six the sign of defeat everyone's bummed out 50 to 21 hawaii had a mission in mind when they traveled from the island oversea to this one all set up ready to go 88 overall against 85 overall pit ratings don't mean a whole lot honestly that's why pit is seventh ranked in the nation and well that's why we're not pepper is grateful to be back on the field and you know what we need a jolt of electricity against number seven pit let's hand it off to sal let him plug up the middle touchdown i can see why this team is top 10 in the nation they're playing very strong not waving the flag or nothing yet but this team is going to be a threat for anyone who goes up against them pit seems to be off the radar for teams we can upset in this one one word disgusting last week is out of sight out of mind it's time we hit the road go to colorado and show the rams we can travel and compete 100 that last game against pitt was a fluke and i can show you they might be destined to make a run in the playoffs for our squad i want to go back to form when we had them in the first few weeks of the season looking pretty good on my side of things here great catch way to concentrate making all the right decisions early in this one slant another good choice 
Vilma first and goal. Through the highs and lows, this field general is still out to prove something in a major way. He wants to leave no question marks, no stone unturned for year two. Fourth and goal at the one, they're just gonna hand it off. Number 30, got it, ties this thing up. Actually, we're still spared by three whole whopping points, so we can just dump it again to the running back, Kiero, touchdown. Pepper, third and 10, scrambling to his left. He's gonna use the receivers as blocking cushion. He fought it into the red zone and turned it over. I wanna bake some potatoes, man. I've been waiting for a while to do that. And another absolute dog water pass deflection interception. Pepper is ice cold and we're losing 30 to 23. I swear there was a whole different version of this quarterback at the beginning of the season. Third and 15, just wanna take a bomb shot to anyone. Vilma, will you be the guy? Oh man, he seriously snagged that in and we have five seconds to hurry to the line and take a snap shooting towards the end zone three two one he hikes it off in time what's it gonna be the tight end over the middle he threw it to spruce oh my goodness the spruce tree hauls it in and i think we're at least gonna tie it up no let's go for two we're gonna go for the win pepper pepper looking to pepper one in there and yo that might be it did he just drop that no review at all did he just drop that open ball in the back of the end zone for the loss are you serious right now in the matter of just a couple of weeks we've fallen to five and five and our championship contender grade has dropped straight to a d putting us at 112th in the nation even though cobb had the electric game clearly a can of corn for him on the defense it seriously didn't mount to anything important now even worse back to a 500 team we have to take on the old miss rebels i wanted to go eight and four you can kiss that out the window because old miss and the rebels number two in the nation this is a scary good team and we're already five and five so the best we could do if we win this one in the next is go seven and five a couple positive matchups on the outside so i'll be looking for vilma or bell and it's going to be vilma i see him get right on through and hits him what a connection i see you pepper coming out with some energy looking to get your team on the board first with a touchdown Be back in motion let's just dump it to him sal's got it and he's got plenty of space to work touchdown this is what i'm worried most about the defense holding up against a top tier offense sure as heck couldn't do it against the pit panthers i don't know if it's gonna be any easier here dropping 21 on her head like it's nothing yeah i have a hard feeling we're gonna be in for some trouble today games like this in the last couple really humble us because i was starting to feel like the rebuild was shaping up don't get me wrong we're still very much getting our team to a rebuild state but we're not power five level yet. It's actually becoming obvious to me that we have quite a few more years till we get there. Maybe by the time Pepper is a senior and we build a strong cast around him, then we can talk. For now, there is a lot to learn from. Towards the end of this thing, it became reminiscent of the Pittsburgh Panthers. On the bright side, at least we're bringing in Femi Nguyen to help us out with the linebacking core. Whenever I'm down and feeling blue, I start to remember the Air Force Falcons are 0 and 11. So if we think we're having a bad year, which we are, why don't you go ask an Air Force fan? These guys feel nothing but pain right now. This right here is for bolt eligibility, so I really don't care what pain we've gone through. It's time to put it all aside and have an absolute day against the Falcons because this team is in the dumpster fire. We seriously had one job and one job only in this game. And are you serious? This guy, it feels like it's falling. That all needs to change right now. So let's just go for the strike to Vilma and get ourselves in a game. Who can I count on on the team? Who wants to be here next season? It's come down to this far too often, but at least we have a speedster who burns two DBs and any trips. It was a costly trip up since it cost us a fourth down. He'll make up for it here though. That's Bell, the same guy who tripped right in front of the end zone we're gonna score let's go 30 seconds and no timeouts that is a tricky tricky situation to manage clock seriously ticking fast already down to 20 seconds left let's get out of bounds i'll happily take a 33 yard chip shot should be much more up our alley and here we go the meter is looking good we fit it in in the mountain west unlv and boise state had great seasons hawaii had nothing to scoff at surprisingly enough we finished up here in the top half five and three record it looks like we only won one other non-conference 
conference game. Dante Abbott, junior quarterback at the USC, walked away with a Heisman, 4,300 yards, 45 touchdowns. And despite the disappointing six and six season, we still get the LA Bowl hosted by Gronk taking on the Wisconsin Badgers. This one should seriously be a lot of fun and our toughest test yet, a 91 overall. Going to need to go Super Saiyan in this one. Nice climate controlled dome here. It's the home of the Rams and the Chargers. And this place is buzzing. It's culture shock, not gonna lie. Cuna, Idaho has as many fans as like one of those sections over there in the end zone not even anywhere close to an entire stadium full of supporters for Wisconsin and us. And now here we are looking to respond back and score three points of our own. And we won't have to worry about field goals one bit if we can go ahead and cash in for six. Spoiler alert, we got no points whatsoever. And you know what's even worse? We're down 10-0 being shut out. If we don't do something about it right here, right now, this thing could be over. Kiero wants to win and I gotta ask the rest of the team the same question. Sal, do you want to win? Show me grit, show me desire to get in there. Get another score and quickly because it is 17 to seven, which means, yep, you guessed it they went down the field scored again this play action pass looks promising he gets it off to dykes there's seven i'm sorry potato king fans it only took us three quarters to turn up in here before choking it right back in the fourth quarter. Pepper is forced to respond again on fourth and 10. Badgers are just not going away quietly. Even with a bomb to Bell and a touchdown, we're still down by three. This is the opportune time to come away with our first onside kick recovery. And since we couldn't get the ball back, it's official, we lose again some good players want to leave like ben mckay very low chance of persuading him true freshman 75 overall right guard we cannot let a guy like this walk trevor over here looks okay 74 overall has a high chance of staying yet he is also throwing up the deuces national signing day 30 commits two five star six four star 23 star and two twos With training results in 86 overall across the board we have a 96 overall sophomore right guard danny Berger up to a 93 Lindsay to a 90 sal to a 90 a lot of high 80s as well i think disappointing is the right adjective to describe the look at this class count bust with me one two three four five six seven and eight two of them being five stars and i only got through about 20 22 scouted out and i kid you not i would need to look no further for quarterback than share a flood 95 speed 95 throw power in the mountain west we have potato kings ascending to their rightful spot here first team honors one two punch danny Berger, mitch bloom as they say this is where the fun begins good first look at the team here opening drive we're just gonna dump this one out to the running back Smythe, who has a step and a first down. Also a good first look at Bullock. This is his first collegiate start since Pepper pretty much had all of it on lock last season. Old McDonald was impressed by the spring game. One thing leads to another, as you may know, and voila, he's got himself the job. Should have a good batch of dudes to work with. Let's go ahead and go to one of those dudes, Heitman, in against double coverage. Gonna look to finish it here with six points dropped, which means we're gonna have to take our shot here to the end zone on this play, and Vilma is the right guy for it. Just about 20 seconds left here in in the half gonna launch one to Vilma who is the villain for defenses across the nation third down back to the air look who is open again did you have this on your bingo card 41-0 shutout in week one as pleased as I am in game I'm very very encouraged by the recruiting board here Le'Veon Eagles our top running back target as well as two other five stars in the lead and then currently winning on four stars as well just like a flood and how quickly it crashes in sheriff flood his recruiting battles about to quickly come to an end and we're in the lead we need him now let's go ahead and check out the aztecs on the road at snapdragon stadium maybe i'm completely off but this could be the first time we've traveled to san diego since we've been established in cuna idaho the mountain west is full of opportunities we should not be out of one game this entire season at least in conference play non-conference you never know it's your guess as good as mine I just know Brita and the Potato Kings are in my book, in an old McDonald's book, favorite to take this division. On the zig here, that is the connection we want. Smythe just taking off, looking to get down into the 15. And on fourth and one, this is massive. Let's step up to the right, scrambling around the edge, and in, tucking in the Aztecs. This is their last dance, man. 
they're not going to want to ever face us again. 42, 21, CUNA, Idaho, your team is coming home victorious. Ready for a dogfight in the Gold Rush Classic. On paper, Wyoming is regressing. 75 overall, not standing well against the test of time. Down 7-0, I'm going to take it upon myself to get my team right back into contention. Obamba was blaring in the background. That is exactly the type of inspiration we need as a team first and goal. Opponents play that song like it's supposed to rattle us or something. In reality, it's Ciante's favorite track. That dude blares that thing in the locker room, annoying some of the teammates, but when we're winning, they make exceptions. And they will happily continue to blow out their ears if it means more victories for the CUNA Potato Kings. You just saw that right. Minus 17 on the sack just makes for a more emphatic touchdown pass to Vilma. I'm telling you, disregard everything you see on paper when it comes to rivalry games. They are giving us a run for the money. Within two points, we just need a couple yards here. That'll pick up the first. With that out of the way, let's do one even better here if we can avoid getting sacked. Now, fourth and 29. Nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, we've been here before and we're gonna get it. Wait a flipping minute. You're telling me we got about 27 of those 29 yards? Not enough to get the first down. Now forced to play some defense out here. Wide open over the middle. Uh-oh. Old McDonald, buckle in, man. Call the right plays. Do what you have to do to get your unit on the same page. Fourth and three. Here we go. Could not adjust to the inside slant. And as you might have expected, that drive was leading towards impending doom. We're down by five. Thankfully, it's not over yet. So... Still room and time to work. Sending Vilma out here on a corner route. Yeah, he's not gonna get open, but you know who is? It's Smythe with a little nifty spin into the first and goal territory. Choosing to save our timeouts and just gonna hand it off to Sal up the middle for some big yards. Now second and goal at the four. I might look out for big old target Brita here in the corner. Yo, are you serious right now? This Brita guy at tight end has been living up to the hype. Cuna Kings walk into Laramie and steal one from the jaws and the claws and the depths of despair. Back-to-back -back weeks, back-to-back -back rivalries. This one is just as important. Nothing like a little Harvest Heritage showdown in the rain. Big third down here. They got a good quarterback that can resist the rain. And as you can see, that strike was money back at it here close to the red zone and another dime this team is gonna have to dial in if we're serious about getting back into it now down a couple scores let's see if we can manage to get at least seven before going into halftime smack dab on the potato logo feel the farm energy just course through our veins gonna throw one back for vilma only three points and now look 28 to 3 what does a potato have to do out here can we get a touchdown umass low-key exposed Posing us out here in the showdown and we're throwing a costly in bullocks getting cold and man this is a shock to the system let's just go ahead and get mad and throw up some deep bombs and hope one of them or two work and get us inching into the game that's one let's go ahead and see if we can do it again hype man he looks like he has a step and he does it to him two quick bombs we're back in it down by just two possessions. In this wet and wild one, I hope you stuck around because we have a show for all of our fans. Or at least I thought we did. Number 10 is a ball hawk. No doubt about that whatsoever. And no doubt about Vilma's performance today. He wants to win. Third and nine, this is it. A minute left in the game. Can't just give up the first down. Absolutely not. Make a play. There it is, fourth down. They nailed the field goal, but who cares? The best news we've gotten is that it's a one possession game and there's no time to waste. Let's get back to what works. And truthfully, what's been working is the air raid. So I'm not gonna stay away from it. Fourth and three, let's just keep it simple and get the first down. Gonna call for a bench. I think that could have been that bench. Oh man, that was not the right call. As good of a season as it looks like it's gonna be, CUNA Kings are not infallible. We can move past that loss pretty quickly here when you got Gideon Mamula, four-star middle linebacker, and the Sheriff is in town. Need to find a way to nip it in the bud fast, get back on the winning track. Back at first and goal, we can get dangerous here. Gonna call for a jet touch pass around the edge. Smythe, way to stick it in. Bake them up, mash them up, stick it on a stick. And I'm gonna need another slip screen to go our way. The safety valve 
That ability kicked into gear, and this guy's got some juice. Oh my goodness. Sal Jizzy has to take notes, just like our defense. I don't even know. We have a wide open Vilma in front of me, so uh, I'm a fool not to take that as he sprints to the end zone, first and goal. Now that we're here, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Smythe, who really needs to step up and play, is the defense, for goodness sake. Definitely got bailed out by the Duke receiver getting out of bounds. Let's go back with a QB power and see if we can plunge in. It didn't work, so we're just going to take the direct snap and walk it in. Touchdown. Happy that the team is showing resilience against a power five unit and a good one at that. What in the angle was that? I've never seen that video camera. Look at the Blue Devils just absolutely stack that line. I don't know if they're ready for another touch pass because everyone just pinched up right there and it did not work out in their favor. No losses, only lessons. We're bouncing back in a big way. I am ecstatic about this result. There you go. They just love the Cuna King product. George Branson wants all of that. Purdue was ranked in the preseason, but they've fallen from grace two and three. Using the Boilermakers, I'm sure we can boil up some dank potatoes. Gonna run the play action here, see if our tight end can spring free. And that went tragically in the wrong vicinity. Next thing you know, you're down 14-0, asking yourself how in the world could this have happened? Off on a very bad foot here, but that could change with a burn play by Vilma. Moving quickly, tight end springs free. That's Brita, the senior, pounding his way into first and goal. Four seconds, let's just take something sure thing. Across the middle, boom. We're in there. Fourth and 14, I need to act now. So I'm gonna send him on a corner route. He comes down with it, breaks a tackler, and in four, six. You couldn't see with the visual ticker bug, but that's now 24-14 on a huge fourth down conversion. A pair of field goals for Purdue. If we just keep scoring touchdowns, I think we'll be able to stay in this one. There's the senior tight end. It's time for a heroic performance out of the freshman. Stepping up into the left here on the run. Way to hit Heitman. And here we go, fourth and nine. Let's just take a one-on-one -on -one deep bomb to Vilma running right past the defender. That is the lead. They weren't ready for the streak, just like they're not ready for this. Actually, I'm going to sell. Trust me. A field goal would have gave them the win. They missed the two-point conversion, and that's what I'm talking about. Play chess while they're playing checkers. Now we just got to execute our turn. And honestly... You're gonna let this one-on-one -on -one happen again to Vilma? Look at the defensive line though, so spread open. I'm gonna audible to a run. It might cost us the game, but I think it's too good of a chance to not take touchdown. We ran it in. Started from the bottom, now we're here, 42-39. Forget Le'Veon Bell, if you remember that guy from Michigan State. Le'Veon Eagles has entered the frame. Forget Shaquille O'Neal, if you remember that guy from the Magic and Lakers. Cause entering stage right, Shaq Penny. Coming down after the high against Purdue, we're crashing back down to New Mexico. The Lobos are having a season that's not necessarily worth writing home about, but honestly, what's new? Down by three, we can go ahead and write the score here with a little strike to Kiero at the one. Fourth and goal, just need to take matters into our own hands. QB draw, lower the head, fight forward, fumble into the end zone. Ah, shucks. Not sure why we're messing around so much with the Lobos. We should be getting out of this game as quickly as we possibly can. Yo, Vilma! I need to start calling that man Mr. Highlight Reel. It was tipped as we were throwing it and he went back for it, got the 50-50 ball. It didn't go so well the first time down here. And yeah, right now it needs to go better. Safety valve, cash in. Did not expect to be in a battle here against the Lobos, but I guess I'm here for it. I don't know. Hey, we'll dump that one in over the shoulder. Third and goal. They're trying to get hyped up for the stop here. We got a man. It's guess who? You already know. Should have known better than to think it was going to be a cakewalk, even if we're playing opponents like the Lobos. Going to see Vilma just spring into action and take care of this thing if the ball was on the numbers. Instead, we're forced to go for it here on fourth down, folks. Let's go ahead and convert. And who knows? Maybe this time we could see Vilma go ahead and get the step we need, hitting him in stride. That is is a potato king touchdown they sure like this single back formation here gonna trust the run again he's fighting in i don't think we need to see much else here they got the sure thing touchdown they take the lead up by one we just need the field goal for the win lobos quickly springing into action calling timeouts it's not gonna help them because we're in it 
to win it. Really tempted here to just run the rock again, and I did not mean to keep it. 48-yard field goal. I'm sure as heck not comfortable with a 40-something yard field goal, so that's right. I'm putting the game on the line. I don't care. I'm going to go across the middle and go ahead and pick it up. Now I'm comfortable with that. I don't want to hear no excuses. Our kicker should be able to nail this in his sleep. Squeak it in. Yes, we brought the potatoes and now look, we got a side of protein. Smoking on that Lobos pack, stocking up and all that good stuff like Dion Hillman, Jay Ficken, and plenty more right around the corner. New Mexico surprised us, so let's not take the Aggies for granted. Haven't called up this play in a minute. Let's try a reverse pass and see if something wacky can happen. If only blocks held for just another second, I think he would have been there. Instead, we got a second and 10 and a wide open Smythe down the sideline. Now with a third down, we're gonna call up our best one here to Vilma. That guy is seriously certified. What a stud, man. Smooth sailing in this one down into the final minutes here of the second quarter. Yeah, you already know who I'm calling up. When you're at midfield on a third down, by all means, just air it out. Press Pro again is crazy 35 24 let's pack our bags idaho up north here we come the road show continues to chug along wolf pack here we go the game just started and i swear it feels like it's over already on fourth down we're running a qb power and it works first down now gonna take our strike to the end zone take two across the middle Kane comes through. I might as well do them a favor and end this thing as quickly as possible. They're three and five, and I just don't want them to have to suffer any longer. Let's get them to the offseason so they at least can recover from what the heck's happened here. Because whoop, there it is. No point hanging around this game any longer. Fourth and three. They're down by 17 points. There was nothing they could have done in just to put the dagger into it. Alojuku. I didn't have any questions. Old McDonald sure didn't have any questions. It was a successful road show. Eight and one, 21st in the nation. I think this is our first time we're ranked. I had a quick peek at Vilma's in-season record right now. And mine is that touchdown. We can go focus on offense. Rudely, rudely interrupted by them scoring a touchdown. I was trying to say Vilma has 16 touchdown catches and he's gonna make it 17 on this corner strike. Ultimately, what I'm after here is a Heisman campaign from our boy. Yeah, this team's hitting their stride at the right time. Speaking of stride, I spy Vilma on the outside. Looks like a one-on-one -on -one for sure. So why the heck would you ever test me with a sorry cornerback like number 12? Absolute blowout here in progress. 42-13. Are you kidding me? The best part is this is the first time we've been able to sell out our stadium. I guess all it took was for the Potato Kings to get ranked. All the farmers come flocking in. There ain't no way they're gonna go and miss this on-field show. That's balling week in, week out. It's getting scary, 63-13. Siante Bullock might as well be flirting with Mountain West all-time records. Scratch that, he's going for his 10th touchdown pass. And if you get 10 of them suckers, I guarantee you that's probably an NCAA record. They're not showing any on-screen pop-up for that performance. I really wish they had more of those in the NCAA video game, like when you break a school record or national record. National Player of the Week honors for Vilma, and his heroics of late have thrust himself right into the Heisman conversation. Oh man, so close. 11 touchdown passes from David Klinger out of Houston in 1990 is the NCAA record. Siante was one short, but you better believe he put his name in the record book in the Mountain West. And you you know what? Vilma is well on his way to catch up with Troy Edwards at a Louisiana Tech. 27 touchdown catches. I think we're close around the 20. In the Mountain West, as it stands, Devontae Adams had 24 touchdown catches in 2013. So that's who we're gunning for. With two games left, we're three touchdowns away from catching Devontae Adams and then six touchdowns away from catching the national record holder. Let's see if we can chase down history an inch closer in this game against the Rams. I don't want this to change the complexity of the team, but there's no doubt I'm going to be feeding Vilma every opportunity I get and it's gonna cost us sometimes too just like this interception and yeah no doubt team success matters a lot more than individual success but I can't deny it feels sweet to get one touchdown closer with Vilma he is a big big reason why we are where we're at today come on man looking for a way to win and throw it to Vilma pretty much every single time I think Bullock or Pepper no matter who's back here at the helm they're all gonna benefit from a performance like this I guarantee you if it was Ohio State he'd still be making everyone look like child's play and now he is one touchdown catch away from breaking a national 
record. There it is, six touchdowns. And I shouldn't say breaking yet, that ties it. So he is actually one touchdown away from having it all by himself. Already up 42-7 in this one. We got one game left on the calendar against Air Force, but why wait? We want the record now and seven touchdowns. He has all our points. This was a historical landmark in time. No brainer back-to-back -back national player of the week. And I think Old McDonald's really happy with what he's seen. Sky high on his team. So much so we're projected at the moment to get into the first round. There's literally no sweat or pressure for number 13 Kuna against one win Air Force. To celebrate this joyous occasion and a national record-breaking receiver, we're gonna wear the gold unis to go out this season in style. Rain or shine, we're getting it done there's another one for James. Some people are gonna discredit him since after all, this is the Mountain West Conference, nothing too crazy, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we keep playing like this, Old McDonald's on the fast track to getting his team to a power conference. The whole team is just absolutely sizzling right now and i felt like it was a good time to get james vilma his 30th touchdown catch of the season up 35 13 coach mcdonald's literally suggesting i just keep going air raid after air raid strike after strike we're on pace to prove all the haters wrong because in a national championship run vilma will take on some of the best corners in the nation that will determine if he's really like that this season we're checking off so many boxes and i've been waiting for this moment the gem state grudge match it's been a couple of years of absence and no better time like the mountain west championship game no better time like the present for old mcdonald out of cuna idaho just 20 or so minutes away from boise idaho making bronco fans pack the bus and come on up to CUNA to see their team in a Mountain West Championship showdown. That's not Vilma to start off the game. The first pass goes to Heitman and he's gone. Down 14 to seven, I'm about to pull out the secret weapon. It's James Vilma. Let's see if he can win against this Boise defender. Add it to the very end. Low key impressed with that defense. Fourth and seven, by no means am I punting it. The high low route right there in press pro is unguardable. Flag on the play, that looks like holding. Of course, our 95 overall guard just got toasted, but look at Press Pro kick in again. We'll just hit him with a strike, tie this thing up. The run game's honestly not as effective at the goal line, which is why I feel like I pass so much in the red zone. You've seen a lot of verticals to Vilma. I'm gonna spread the love just a little bit here in the championship game. We have a full team. Vilma's not the only senior. This Brita guy right here, he too is one and wants this national championship bad lead. I'd be doing the team a disservice if I didn't highlight everyone else that's contributed to this run. Up the middle, there's Sal. You better call him. Two minute drill, just gonna chew out the clock. But first we're gonna need to get through Boise's timeouts. A jet touch pass is always a good option, I've realized. Well, I shouldn't say always, but it works more often than not when a team's trying to chew clock. Settling for three points, I just know Boise State's gonna have a huge grudge going to next season. Hands up for the champions. It's gonna be a cookout up here in CUNA, Idaho. Our soil content, our golden potatoes, Old McDonald's backyard, be there, be square. Look at the Mountain West Championship trophy right here for CUNA, Idaho. Now let's get ready for the national championship run. End of the season pre-playoff look. Siante Bullock had 63 touchdown passes. That's gotta be a record too. With a pass heavy air raid, Sal only touched Pater three times, but really good rushing on a six yard per carry clip. I can't help but just laugh. 93 catches, 2,193 yards. 32 touchdown catches. Our second half performance as a team was so good. In fact, we leapfrog the first round. We have a bye. Time to start bringing in the awards. Player of the year, James Vilma. Give him that 2029 Heisman Trophy, baby. And tack on best receiver, no doubt. Looks like Danny Berger had a successful campaign. Best DB award. The Peach Bowl has been determined. Michigan, CUNA, up next. The Mountain West was a cakewalk compared to what we are about to see in the Chick-fil-A Bowl against Michigan. First and 10 into the red zone. Miscommunication. We're going to start off the game with a six from Brita. Wolverines are relentless. Back within the red zone again and scoring this time a big six. Just need to hold it down right here on third. Make a play. Knox, Pat Knox, the sophomore, yes. As sweet as that was, look at the score. We're down tremendously right now. This is unacceptable. Really about to be first round exited. They know better over here in Michigan to give him cushion. Look at that defense. Pressing up like a lot of Mountain West opponents did is just a death wish. They're doing it right over here and clamping him up. Here we are on fourth down. Just gonna need to take a shot here. 
it's intercepted and that is going to be the hopes and dreams for Cuna King in this year's edition of the college football playoffs. 45-35, Michigan Wolverines are advancing. Sophomore right guard at 96 overall. Jamal Keller is projected to be a first round draft pick. I know it's a bit sombering to go into the offseason as Oklahoma took the national championship, but at least Jamal Keller, first round pick. But this one right here, outrageous. Best receiver in NCAA history of all time, at least from a one season perspective, James Vilma third round pick you're telling me every team passed on him twice brother he's about to make everyone pay in the nfl and then good old sal getting a six round flyer we'd love to see it i think one of the best things to happen here was all of the publicity our team just got because look at four star thomas pitts gabriel dunham they're all prestigious guys and they all want to become potato kings in a shocking twist of fate though high schooler steven whitaker four star gem safety who locked us out for playing style wants to come crawling back to us and miami's not even in the running anymore you think you can just ditch us earlier in the year and then get a spot with old mcdonald no 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 sir you must be mistaken all right i'll cut the act he's definitely welcome here welcome home son and the cards are aligning got the high schoolers we want out of the way now it's just time to focus on the transfers and finish the job there we go tony portilla national signing day we come in with the 11th best class with sal leaving eagles has arrived let's just say this is what a dynasty looks like and this is the goal of every team when building all right so here's the deal we have a a lot of quarterbacks in this room and we just brought in two more in ben gallimore sheriff flood i mean check out those physical traits platinum magician gold off platform so what i'm tempted to do is move a guy like six foot two antoine lockett let's add him to the receiving room clearly an athlete with 95 speed 83 catch he should fit in right away and he's still young enough to make a long-term difference deron bland's relative we just moved him from corner to safety i think he'll actually get thrust into a starting role here but i just need to come out and say man this team is looking really good the ever-pressing question where will cuna play next season clearly outgrown the mountain west is it the acc well that doesn't make much sense geographically the big 10 not too optimal a couple farm heavy teams like iowa and nebraska so it's definitely a candidate big 12 makes a lot of sense just based on the geographic region here got teams like utah farm schools like kansas texas has a big presence as well i think this is the favorite at the moment the only other option could be the sec but i'm thinking if all goes well in the big 12 this might be like the final boss for cuna so that seals it now that we talked it through I'm gonna go ahead and pluck cuna out of the mountain west and into the big 12 all set in the big 12 ready for the new season just want to go ahead and check out some of our freshmen sheriff flood really excited about the platinum magician eagerly out here with the elite dev trade and remember shaq penny the five Five star well he's a star 81 overall day one yep the potato kings are cracked and shaping up to become a formidable foe even in their first year of the big 12 this upcoming season 11th in the nation this is our most favorable start but also toughest test with many challenging foes along the way we benefit from such a large prestige boost that even the number one recruit in the nation is considering us feels like our recruiting hours doubled overnight so many four-star gyms choosing our school as their preference orlando liggins trent costello to various Condren. Heck, I gotta show you guys Lee Alawali. Six foot three power back. The best part, 94 speed. We'll check back in on recruiting as the season progresses, but for now, let's turn our attention to the Duke Blue Devils, a familiar foe. I want to say our all-time series is split between these guys, but that's the past. This is the present. Siante already has his team driving right down this field, and in the rain, with less options than last season, that's not gonna matter for us. Don't tell him, no Vilma, no problem. We love that guy and everything he's done for this program but Siante feels like he can do it all by himself defense looking to make a stop here as Duke just goes right back to the ground and pound all the way in Siante has not been living up to expectations here in the first one and he's not getting much help from his receiver friends either fourth down desperately wanting a touchdown we have him slipping through under thrown to the max intercepted i guess the rain is making a serious difference interfering with our offense looking for some of the cast here to step up make some plays it's Smythe again maybe he's the guy we need to see this fourth and goal is absolutely crucial just gonna jet touch it to our receiver see if he can cut on in there's lockett the freshman receiver hoping someone can spring free out here i think we got a man if this ball can fit into his lap Oliveira 
touchdown and the lead with a minute 30. And wow, what an impressive turn of events here. I thought it was over for sure as Lockett just sealed it out with that big run. Cuna, Idaho, get ready for a turbulent season. It's going to be a fun one nonetheless. Squeaking out a narrow win against Duke, we got the FCS Pandas, and this is where I expect to see some action from some of our young guns. Get flood in there, am I right? The idea here in this one is we get a cushion, of course. But once we get that lead, we'll start auditioning. For now, we're just going to roll with the starters, see if they can prove a thing or two for us. I'm telling you, siante has got to get his game together or I'm going to the depth chart. Like I can't bear to stand to see this man airball him, especially against the pandas. But that was fit into the window. I'm going to have our quarterback here finish out the first half and I'm going to go to the bench because I'm not happy with this performance. There we go. We got a wide open tight end. Good find to Dykes here. Stepping back up, just gonna send this one across the field into Dykes hands once more. Big touchdown. I was a little hard on Siante this game. He did pretty good. I'll give him that. He stepped up, found the right guys at the right time and scored. But the third quarter is now for me to see if Emmanuel Pepper can take back the job. And on his first drive in, he's doing a good job getting down the field, gets to throw up a bomb and that was a bit inaccurate let's hope that was just a fluke because if emmanuel pepper's auditioning for the quarterback job he's not doing a good job i'll let him finish out this drive but honestly not enough to see here to go ahead and give him the job over siante even though he found Smythe right there for the touchdown. This is what I'm really looking forward to. There is a new sheriff in town and he's got 95 speed. Look at him just shed the first guy and just take off jets all the way into the red zone. Looking to also show off the cannon that he has brought with him. There it is, 95 throw power. Gave him a good opportunity, but we'll just let Kiero finish it for the touchdown. If it wasn't obvious already, I think I'm excited about all the possibilities here. Great throw. He keeps playing like this. I'm gonna have to find out what it would be like if we just started him every game. Two drives, back to the one both times. And that's perfect for number one. Sidearm, Mahomes-like throw, touchdown. Hopefully a drive or two falls into Ben Gallimore's hands because right, now it's flood show we're just living in it practically a perfect audition from sheriff flood ben gallimore is now in the game and he's got a similar skill set good speed good throw power it's a couple notches down but there's nothing to be ashamed of with 92 throw power and 92 speed coming out of high school this has been a really entertaining audition all our quarterbacks look super good 63 20 enough was said you know a new leaf is turning when you're putting up 63 points but you also know when a deal breaker playing time here for broderick a five-star linebacker we're just not good enough for him he wants a place where he can actually play in this transition year for the big 12 i believe we only play like four big 12 opponents so it's a unique season where we get to see a bunch of other random opponents i hear this will not be the case in the next season holy toledo we got some football on deck here they're gonna go on third and five here with the read option qb keeper that worked out well and it's another situation here where the defense just needs to tighten up on the quick pass another first down fighting hard for these points it's a play action it looks all covered up no chance that was gonna work out somehow up to six in the nation already feels like we got some things to iron out but i'm not gonna complain with the ranking one of those things i need to iron out is the quarterback siante's leaving a lot for me to desire out here at the position in the way it felt to play with a couple of our new freshmen it was an exciting game last week downside of kiro here he's not a good power back for the goal line situations he's your classic safety valve so that's exactly what we do he hangs on for the touchdown first and 10 here looks like lockett's gonna get outside get a step on his man and make the play big time play right there and let's go ahead and make another one split in the defense Smythe got laid out and intercepted now losing in the third quarter i let pepper get a chance see if he can make the most of it gonna lob one up to the tight end he's got him what a connection we're leading again it really was not that long ago when pepper was a household name here everyone was throwing a little extra pepper on their potatoes for the heck of it such an impact on the brand and a true sign of the tide turning for this team just not sure what's happening here as he gets to his upperclassmen years game on the line here third and 12 it's a toss play i don't know what they were thinking they're stopped short fourth and eight here we go making the play he caught it no right through the db and that's right the torch keeps getting passed down the quarterback line again for the second straight re week this time we're looking for someone to win us the game rather than just get reps sheriff flood welcome to the big stage your first game against a non-fcs opponent let's see what you're made of with two minutes to go we'll step up in the pocket there he gets away he has got a knack for doing this let's show him why there is a new sheriff in town delivering 
countering the Smythe, and he's out of there, taking off and fighting all the way down to the two. Flood is determined to make his mark, wanting to win a ball game dumps it to the safety valve. No nonsense drive down the field, gives it right back to the defense to respond, and we're letting them keep their dreams alive. And even worse, not just letting their dreams stay alive, giving them actual hope that they have a chance out here. So we're back to the Sheriff Flood show, huge connection. Still have all three timeouts, but opting to just go with the hurry up here. Look at that step, I see something developing. It's hit, it's Oliveira to the house, touchdown. Cuna Kings, Old McDonald knew that was clutch. 35 31. Heck of a performance here from Flood. Old McDonald has seen enough. He's going to go with true freshman Sheriff Flood. First time I've seen this post game, I have a black screen. So I hope that game counted because I'm going to have to hard reboot. And no, are you kidding me? It did not save. So we're going to sim this one. Well, as we sim it here, it looks like we're going to be able to hold in against the Toledo Rockets. A two minute drill. Toledo does score looking for the onside kick. They don't get it. And that's going to be game 28 25 definitely nowhere near as impressive as the last one so that one's going to live in our hearts and minds because old mcdonald does not forget he's still rocking with flood in this next one just in time for game of the week it's the biggest stage for the young dude if he can knock off number nine smu we would know this team is championship bound in just a matter of time first look at flood on the road his first opportunity to prove why this is his team going forward backwards is not ideal i must admit but let's give him a chance to gather his composure, step up on third and 15, and hit Smythe for the first down. This quarterback can be generational. I'm telling you, this is post-patch even, so there aren't many athletes like this. Two completions, and we're already all the way down here. What else does he have up his sleeve? Pressure, he can elude it, and I think his next act is the vanishing act. You never want to flood a crop of potatoes, but in this case, you want to shower them, flood them, drench them in love just like Sheriff can. He's gonna need to spring into action here on third and goal, dart across the middle, ouch. That's a hospital pass. Dynamic with the arm and the legs. We're going for it fourth down, heck yeah. Scrambling out to the right. Gonna survey, lob one up. That was so smooth. Following drive here, we got a step from Olvera. This is a dynamic tandem developing. Up 21 to 10 here before halftime's over. We're gonna pad it on. 28 10 going into the half as advertised i'm not going back blood is bona fide certified quarterback of the future are you out of your mind and now we can celebrate 38 to 10 first collegiate start for flood an overwhelming success pen to paper it's time to start bringing in the newest batch of potatoes trevor's the first one but i have a feeling there's more to come we have a lot riding on this game against oregon state so many visits the last thing we're gonna do is drop it on our home turf we finally have so many hard working farmers out to visit us taking time away from their busy schedule sheriff Oh, you just can't be stopped, can you? Taking control of Danny Berger. This guy has been a lot of fun, but what's not fun is blowing an assignment in the secondary. Around and around we go. Let the games begin. Kiro strikes back. A chance to pad the score. So when we get opportunities like this, let's take it. Jet touch pass to Smythe. Didn't work out. Fourth down, no biggie. Let's go ahead and convert. Looking for anyone. We'll just dump it out to lock it. How did he actually come back for that? That is all my mistake for throwing that one into danger. The coverage looked like he backed off. Back and forth, this one is gone. No one's really running away with it. So why the heck not now? Let's go ahead and run away with this thing. Touchdown to lock it. Dime. That puts a lot of pressure on the Beaver offense here. Forced to go for it on fourth down. No good. They gambled and it failed. And their failure leads to our success touchdown sheriff those pesky beavers would not back down 14 points mustered up in the fourth quarter for a 45 37 finale on that note bring them out bring them out bring them out robert truman number one player in the nation out of new york says deuces to the east coast packs his bags goes all the way west coming with him out of kansas well familiar with the farm life it's Orlando Liggins. Tavares Condren, so glad you can join us. Britain Butt likes the butt end of potato skin. Heck of a performance. Hats off to Antoine Lockett, the freshman. Seven catches, 193 and three. Memphis Tigers are on deck. And if them Tigers misbehave, we're going to force feed them potatoes. Because again, no one walks in here and gets out alive. That's for sure. I know that's like a Gator saying too, but I mean it. That's also a potato saying flood. 
making magic happen early in this one. Good night, man. I just can't wait to attach him with a 99 speed receiver that'll be there for at least the next three years of his career. Have you ever known old McDonald to be one to settle for the three? Maybe he should more often because that did not work. Their defense is swarming early, but clearly leaving Dykes open is a mistake. Going to audible for a QB keeper. That's exactly what he does. Up the middle and down to the four. Love to see the leadership out of the young buck. Just going to scramble, take off, find a wide open smite. We're on the board. And then on third and inches, let's run a play action. They really bit that. We step into it, Kane. So nice. We got to run it twice. Scrambling out to his right. Gonna step into a big bomb here to lock it. Can only get away with it so many times. We can get away with a monster bomb here on this case. Talk about flipping the field here with just 10 seconds left in the quarter. He's got that Platinum Magician ability. It's over, man. It's an absolute flood of points as this frenzy will continue calling the flood drive. It's just a match made in heaven. Pressing them back on their heels. They're in panic mode. Just forcing a wobbler deflected there at the defensive line we have a physical bunch and Knox did the rest another game another victory for old mcdonald the haters are awfully quiet right now critics have nothing to say you know the dynasty is getting insane when heisman mode feels like varsity and we're landing five stars out the wazoo central michigan's up to an 80 overall but i still think we can make opponents like this a quick out down 10-0 we're gonna have to go out swinging in this one we do have a open kia Arrow, the safety valve got some wheels. Always boggles my mind when linebackers go one on one with them. Fourth down, we're past midfield. This is a crucial turning point. We're just going to keep it with Flood and pick it up. Very next play, we're going to launch one to Alvera. He got hit while throwing it. And oh man, you could have completed a sick highlight. Do better to bail out your boy. I'm telling you, man, don't let him hang out there on an island. Smythe will show you how it's done, buddy. Haven't really called for any all goes because I'm worried no one will be able to burn any corner out here. So let's go ahead and test that theory. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh. That's bad. That's bad. That's when scrambling gets a little out of control. Lock that one in the memory bank. Let's not get a little too silly out there, if you know what I mean. Instead, just take your surefire plays to lock it deep bomb 95 yards and six out to his left he's got some space in front of him that's what he does scrambles it in he's like that and so is our defense man we're built different tip deflection beard silencing all the fans and the haters 44 18 on to the next lee welcome to the cause and a very warm and buttery baked potato welcome for ramon tam a storm is brewing and the forecast calls for a lot of rain emmanuel estrella can't say much about your name but i'm glad to have you on the team super happy with how things are progressing and look at this an old reunion against a mountain west foe traveling in to new mexico for this last non-conference matchup i know it's been a little unorthodox i can't make the rules it's just some weird big 12 transition rule, right? Next year should be back to the typical amount of conference matchups. Check this out. It's starting to rain, and I think that spells bad news for the Lobos. Their fans should be safe up in the stands because this field's about to get flooded by a flurry of offense. Lobos pressing up, even though it's a rain game, that's not gonna stop me from taking a couple shots because it works out even against a platinum badge activation there. Corners got caught up and now we have another chance to go ahead and get some more points before the half's over. Third and seven, just gonna dump it over the middle into Kiero's lap. He's got it, touchdown. I guess we just needed a second to warm up because this thing is getting out of reach. Not impressed right here by the Lobos one bit they're even acting like a fool hurting our quarterback so let's go ahead and punish them for their mistake you do not get away with that all right i get it it's about time we show some mercy out here after this last emphasis point this is why the lobos are still in the mountain west and why we are now in the big 12. this team beard on defense is a juggernaut bus is all warmed up new mexico to idaho that is a long journey up the northern chute but safe travels for this group we had a lot of fun here this one right here deserves celebration the rich just keep getting richer it's about time we see a big 12 opponent west virginia is headed to idaho for a little spud showdown welcoming in the big 12 era with open arms and rain a lot and lot of rain kavka 
on the board first unless that quarterback's number 24 i think this is the wildcat nope i'm wrong that is a quarterback number 24 dotting us up to number one as of right this second looks like no one is on Smythe, so that is a blown coverage assignment and that's going to be picked on all day long so they better figure it out because we'll gladly take six down by two touchdowns i don't want to hit the panic button yet but this is a performance we haven't seen not sure what's gotten into west virginia but they look good and they're playing inspired football we'll look to continue to crack the code here one play at a time olvera get through big man blood is usually much more on point thankfully he's still got a quarter left here of football and a strike to dykes to turn the tide and what do you know he's rising up to the occasion read option hitting the outside and finishing it off tie ball game locking this man in with the franchise contract 100 percent. he wants a million nil dollars that's toilet paper for old mcdonald he'll happily fork it over to keep this guy in town he's such an improviser touchdown forced to resort to this we've done a stellar job in the second half just shutting him down blanketing everything burger with the dagger good stop on the other side of the cornerbacks room add one more five star to the list a couple more four stars to compliment there literally isn't anyone we haven't really been able to get farm heavy iowa meet cuna idaho wearing the all black alternates in this one i don't think that's gonna help them even as drippy as they look. Got risky showboating it there on offense, but I think we're just a confident group all around. With confidence comes comfort, knowing that your team's always got your back and you can take chances. Setting us up here with a fresh set of down square into opponent territory, Smythe touchdown iowa state's defense all of a sudden deciding to step it up getting some good stops i think my next course of action here then is to just throw up a bomb and hope our big man can come down with it yes alvera outside and in to the end zone what a job needing every last point in this one as iowa state is going back and forth toe for toe blow for blow it's in defense's hands here to finish off the game fourth down another interception this time it's Knox. another close win here against an iowa state team that stormed back in it chip coleman walks out of there with national defensive player of the week honors and don't look away now this team is red hot 10 and 0 as it stands right now we're into the college football playoffs and if we go undefeated i don't know why they would give us the long route we have to focus on the present and that is the baylor bears we're walking into their home hostile territory and you know what they say about bears they got big appetites looking for some much needed points here as the second quarter winds down let's go ahead and lob one up to the big fella in zone touchdown low scoring affair honestly surprising out of two big 12 teams it's just not characteristic so let's go ahead and change that here on this next one looking like a johnny manzel surveying is anything open whatsoever i sometimes entertain those plays because i'm hoping something falls in our lap if it does it makes for an insane clip usually it's just a bunch of running around with our head cut off this time we do cash in methodical drive turning into third and goals got a receiver in motion stepping into this fourth and goal back at the two it's a handoff to 17 and he got it past midfield on the last one and across the middle is open to dykes quick response is what was needed and a quick response is what they will get oh man fourth and 17 giving cushion i'd like to see them wiggle their way out of this one yeah not gonna happen buddy their blown opportunity could turn into points for us touchdown would seal this thing and there it is baylor out here trying to make things Things interesting so i have to finish the job and do it the right way crucial crucial third and five here on the qb power he's just short coach mcdonald and i are on the same page flood wants it bad so he's gonna keep it and finish it off wow and to reward his resilience victory formation that kneel down just feels so good Kerry forrester stepped up in a big way against baylor so good in fact national defensive player of the week in back-to-back -back weeks i believe final game of the season against arizona on the road we could keep a 12 and 0 record intact that's insane i knew we had a good team but shoot it felt like on paper and it felt like on the field this was actually a step back the defense definitely a step up but offense step back no chance these cats will bear down on me 
And I'll start off the game with a strike to Kiero. Little showboat, little dance, touchdown. Team is cooking on all cylinders. 24-3 here. This has been silly. And holy cow. Their sirens blaring. They're trying all they can to stop us on third and five. I hate to break it to them. It ain't gonna work. The last thing Arizona wants to see is 31-3 at the start of the fourth quarter. But I think that's exactly what we treat them to. In style here, going with a QB power counter, wide open, walking it in. Check that one off the list. 34-10, Arizona did not show up in their home finale. Four and seven, they go. Tack a couple more four stars onto the list. We were hoping to land these guys, especially excited about Zari Brown. Only question I have is how are we ranked third in the nation? We fell a spot? Before I can inquire further, I need to take care of business against number nine, Texas Tech in the big 12 championship game. All right, fine, that can wait a second. Curiosity got the better of me. Clemson and Ohio State ranked higher than us, even though they have two losses. For the sake of keeping a favorable playoff position, we need to win this game. And well, yeah, it's always cool when you can hoist up the conference championship trophy. Look who's in, Le'Veon Eagles. I haven't seen him all year, so let's go ahead and hand it off to him, Pat Gall. That one's on me, but at least we can see what the generational six-star running back is up to in today's day and age. Came out here for a cup of coffee, got lit up, and that was all in his day of work. Fourth down to number four, touchdown. I can't believe we have yet another opportunity to get some points. Thankfully, Dykes makes it a sure thing. And you see the play, it's a flood drive for flood. That's the only way I think we can crack the ice. Here we go, and I was right, Smythe. Just call his name. First and goal at the one, can we just make it a simple touch and go, wow. Why is it too hard to plunge? Need a big body, not a receiving back for that. That is honestly the opportune time to get a guy like Kavka in there yet again. Coach McDonald got him in a little later than he should have, in my opinion, because look, we needed all the size. Fourth and four, we can go in victory formation if we just make the stop comeback route success. Had an inkling it was going to come down to this. Texas Tech scores. It's a 24-24 ball game. Only fitting that a champion is crowned here with some extra football. Yo. Got way too fancy, threw it on the run. And now we're in serious, and I mean serious danger. I didn't know what that route was. Please be a flag on them. I thought that he was going to go into the middle of the field. I might have misread that, but I hope that flags against them. <sighs> Oh, thank you. New life, new opportunities. Let's not squander it. Bruh. Texas Tech just stunned us. I thought we had this one in the bag for sure. And our perfect season is no more. Red Raiders beat us on the last drive too. That's just pain. Moving into the playoffs and off-season time of year. Broyles Award coordinator goes to Raphael OC at Acuna. Garrett Pitts from Nebraska wins Heisman. Danny Berger wins his second DB of the year award. And it looks like we made the college football playoffs. Unfortunately, no bye since we lost to Tech. Actual pain moment right here. Texas Tech gets the bye in our place because they beat us. Early national signing day, we have the third best class five five stars 13 four stars well shoot here goes nothing round one of the playoffs is gonna run through cuna idaho that's right a playoff game out of little old cuna idaho i can't believe it don't want to get too comfortable out here because tulsa is just one of them teams that could sneak up on you and take you out when you least expect it thankfully lock it broke free and scores the first touchdown of the game. Fun fact, we're still yet to win a playoff game. We've lost every bowl game and the first round of the playoffs last year. So this would be a feat in itself. Maybe I'm mistaken. I just know we lost the first official titled bowl game in the playoff run last year. Tulsa doing just enough to keep things interesting out here, but let's see if they can hang with the big dog. Yeah, they can. Lock it, will you carry us home? Yes, cutting in and out. Good weave, good spin, good speed. Gonna go back to the big dog. I asked if he could keep up the first time, he couldn't. The second time, he could not. I think I got that backwards. First time he could, second time he could not. The potato fields are not getting plowed tonight. Everyone's busy watching their team take on Tulsa. Nothing like a hard day work, a cold one, and sitting back watching the CUNA Kings play some football out here. Yes, sir. Well, that was a fun aerial angle. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and look for some more points. Finishing touches on this one. He's wide open. Just got to get underneath it, and we're on to the next round. Much love to the CUNA Idaho fans for showing out, selling out, 
bring in all the action in this 55-37 victory. Great day and debut performance in the playoffs for Flood. Now it's the Rose Bowl. We have a chance at revenge. Michigan knocked us out last year. Let's get them back. Michigan's never a pushover, but they went 12-1 and this season. That's crazy. Even in the early 2030s, they look to still be winning like they do. Let's see what we can do now that we're in this position. Middle, tight end post, first and goal. Second and goal. Wow, that just sunk fast they got their dogs on us quick now third and goal the flood is open Smythe finishes it off and if you ever get a chance to go up 14-0 Michigan you gosh darn believe I'm gonna take it corner route he's got it first and one plunging this thing up the gut with Kavka no one picked up any of the DTs trust me that was just bad something broke there in their assignment so we're gonna have to do it ourselves on the QB power touchdown and with Michigan now on the board it's ever so pressing that we get our names back out there flood yes quick dump out here walk the dog michigan finally found pay dirt they got a six of their own but we're gonna strike right back to Oliveira with less than a minute in the second quarter 35 points in the first half looking to make it now 40 to 10 the flood machine it is pouring out here michigan can't catch a break and i have no plans of letting up touchdown kiro 42 no lead feels safe against michigan i'm looking to start the second half just like we finished the first with another touchdown on Honestly, this is one of our most dominant performances as a team. Go figure against Michigan in the playoffs too. Absolutely amped about that. Seven easy touchdown passes today. Power O to Kavka. He's got a lane and punishes his way through. 63 big ones. Wave them goodbye. Crazy score crazy upset by some critics no one expected cuna to get revenge this big so hold up that rose bowl let's celebrate we're one step closer to the natty between all of the games taking place sheriff flood got recognized with national honors and man we're getting our run of the gauntlet we have to take on alabama but the crazier storyline that could end up happening albeit they have to get through notre dame and we have to get through alabama it could be a Big 12 championship rematch. But for this team, we have our eyes set on Alabama in the Cotton Bowl. There it is in all of its glory. We played at this very stadium for the Big 12 championship, so we're familiar with the atmosphere and the layout. This time it's different. It's for a much bigger stake. Alabama was quick to the draw, scoring seven of their own, but playing man coverage, never a good idea when you're taking on the Potato Kings. Flood is not gonna be pressed. He's gonna take his time and simply do what a good quarterback does. Give Give his players plenty of opportunities to make a big play even when you're dropping obvious ones that was insane i can't believe he just dropped that let's go ahead and give another good ball for our receiver to play on he's got it third time's a charm and with the lead by two we want to pad this thing on so let's just outrun one defender and just skirt on past the next it's like the camera angle has no idea we are just going to school the opposition like we do third and one we did have an open receiver that's crazy we had a chance and i don't know what's going on here probably should have thrown that away instead we'll settle for three which is better than nothing clearly it would have been better to get more as you can see 24 22 alabama definitely never gonna go down without a fight i'm gonna send senior dykes here on a streak because i had a feeling something like that was going to happen i was right we just couldn't connect instead i'm going to call a flood drive here on fourth and ten we usually have good luck with these plays and the good luck continues it's in his name fourth and six here comes alabama with another chance at redemption they complete fourth and one man they are working their way down the field and just a bad assignment there spoiler they end up scoring and now it's up to the offense to go ahead and close this game out. Quick dump off to Smythe. Calling one of the simplest plays in the book. It's an inside cross. Just need someone to step up. And there we go, Dykes. You got it. And now on third and six, this is the game. Looking for a first down over the middle. He's got it. Let's go. That was nails. Victory formation. It's over. It's mind boggling to see old McDonald just keep racking up these big games. We've been counted out all year long. No one expected us to beat Michigan or Alabama. Sure, they thought we were a good team, but really sheriff flood he was on no one's radar quite literally fourth string on our own depth chart in week one now look fast forward to because things are just getting brighter for his career national championship game as a true freshman fell short last year
year unfinished business in this season the 2031 national championship game and we're gonna start off the game with a big ball to the defensive tackle are you kidding what just happened i've never seen an interception quite like that unbelievable what show me that again freshman dt number 99 that should not have happened are you serious i don't appreciate it i do not i'll tell you what little pi there from burger defensive pi uncharacteristic from this team it was mitch bloom not burger like i originally suspected that makes sense from one of the best i don't know how coleman just got burned getting to the pinnacle and falling flat would just be criminal i can't bear to think about it under pressure here that has to be pi i mean he was just rubbing him the whole way thankfully we had a little magic go our way and we're gonna step to the left try to outrun someone on the run alvera that's called keeping a play alive. Out of timeouts, but in the red zone. Points here would be a huge addition. We'll take them any way we can get them. Three points is needed. And now we're within seven. Gonna need to spend a lot of focus in the off season training up the big boys. I can already tell. Flood's got enough to get around here. 15 positive yards. Turned something in out of nothing there. Lock it, just lobbing it in. Touchdown, we're all tied up. Fourth quarter, it's scary hour. QB power, Cam Newton-like. He is wearing number one after all. And oh man, we're so close. We can almost taste it. Who's covering number two? Third and three need a miracle here. Wow, I believe. The forecast getting a bit rainy and let it be that way because it's when we perform best. Sheriff had me worried in the first half, but I can tell he's here to reestablish his dominance in the second half. Kiro, you just realized you might have lost us the game, right? Count your lucky stars. One more chance. One timeout. Punt return. Insane. Don't you ever sell a drive like that again it's uncharacteristic so i'll give you a second chance i just don't think you realize how big the stakes are it's the national championship thankfully after one play we're already in field goal range but that ain't gonna cut it for the kings we're going for the win and because i know we're good enough i'm already gonna chew clock i don't want notre dame to have any chances extra after us old mcdonald's gotten over his grudge he trusts kiera once more let's hope he pays off totally just brain farted there forgot we were on two clock in the national championship game so uh wish me luck folks wish me luck oh fourth goal ain't no way i'm going for it three seconds left i'm just gonna take my field goal on fourth and goal don't think that was the most accurate kick but it did the job pressure is on it's overtime fitting how the champ needs to be crowned with one more extra frame need to pull out our best stuff here going with the reverse and he's got the angle cut and left first down what a nail biter right now i'm not gonna lie let's extend this play to the right i think we can go ahead and get in there speed kills touchdown we're up third and five we're gonna run a tampa two i hope this is the right call and it is a game clinching interception and on that note cuna kings are national champions old mcdonald be proud man you got some mighty fine gold potatoes and you've done a heck of a job with this program it's so beautiful it brings a tear to my eye this was the first team builder in college football 25 52 touchdown passes 4800 yards this sheriff's the real deal 15 rushing touchdowns too oh my goodness it's criminal that a true freshman can feed his team this good clearly a team of destiny star studded on offense in lockdown on defense this has has got to be the most baffling part freddie spruce wants to transfer he got his national championship ring but cares more about playing time so respect to him we'll let him go i'm not even gonna persuade him or wait what am i smoking dykes and kane just graduated so i think there's an open spot for you buddy please come on back the job's essentially yours alex carroll wants to go to the nfl draft we also have a good chance of keeping him that did not work that man is sunday bound massive shout out to our guys danny burger side of fries the perfect potato king is a first round slam dunk. Kiero getting picked up in the second round showed he's a very capable receiving back. Mitch Bloom complimenting Berger, also very good underrated DB third round pick. Lawrence Hammer, one of the best transfers in the nation out of Utah, wants to be a winner, so he's trying to come to Kuna. And it's a very good chance I lose him this next week. Hard sell, everything going his way. Shoot, like Curry, we came through with a buzzer beater. How did we just win Hammer over? Life is good over here. Number one signing class. 
Yes. A couple seniors at left end. I think Robert Truman, the number one player out of the last year's recruiting class, good fit over there. Taj Godwin looks impressive at a lot of positions, but I think I'm going to go ahead and support him playing middle linebacker because a 94 speed user sounds cracked. Byron Denson could be an 83 receiving back or 78 deep threat, but man has a build like a scrambling quarterback. So I'm going to continue to ensure we have a future there. It's a crowded running back room. So I'm going to throw Baker staff at corner. Le'Veon Eagles and Keglar lead that room and a couple really good looking freshmen in the wings. I thought last year's team was really good. Well, it's getting a whole lot better. 91 overall, 92 offense after training. Le'Veon Eagles looking for day one duties. Smythe, the only one excelling in the receiver room. And shoot, I'm glad Spruce stayed because he's the best tight end on the roster. Pat Knox was obnoxious for offenses last season. Good to see him take another step. Trayvon Beard's got to be one of the best guys on this defense. As you can imagine, winning a national championship did wonders to our prestige. And now the list is off the charts here with prospects willing to take their talents to CUNA, Idaho. Gold Rush Classic. It's time to throw down. Man, I remember when the Cowboys were giving us a run for our money. Now with a sold out crowd in our first game of year eight, the only one that's going to be running are the Cowpokes when they get denied all day long. What should be the norm is this right here, extending out to the right, flood dancing around and cashing in. A little rusty to begin the campaign, but that is no worries. Worries, pretty commonplace for a lot of teams. Eagles, I'm looking at you, man. Fly home, cash in, touchdown. Eagles having a really good game here, but we're going to let the freshman get a tote. Seven yards. Not bad for your first collegiate carry. If you can average that clip every single time you touch the ball, you'll have a successful career. Put it on a skew, stir those potatoes around and round. Whatever your preferred method of devouring some scrumptious potatoes. Our spud studs got the job done. Old McDonald back at it again with back to back rival games. This time it's the Harvest Heritage Showdown. Both squads 1 0 in the young season, and we're back in CUNA, Idaho. Looking over the middle, we're going to go ahead and hit this one in stride little play action here little little bush league action here on the play action db extraordinaire forest mon was all up in our mon good play all around now we'll have to work on this third down deliver a strike another two tight end set surveying surveying and saying forget it flood in there tossing one up to the corner Smythe secure handed another touchdown tally it to his name about to pat it in just even more before the halftime has arrived dual threat extraordinaire good times keep on rolling for this sold out cuna idaho crowd umass was just next on the hit list two rivals squared away one more to go gem state grudge match week let's go show that the potatoes are golden just 20 minutes away from boise 86 overall across the board this will be our toughest test yet as boise state usually does put a good roster together but say hello to my little friend let's coin a new term here all stars nah all spuds spud stars taking the field every single player on this team is a contributor and a big reason why we can win this game second and goal we'll go ahead and dump to ham no it's a flooded ham show he should have fell into the end zone instead he dumps down at the half yard line just go get the rest with portilla losing by three points the grudge match is getting all too real. If Boise State knocked us off, I could practically guarantee they would be ranked. A couple solid heads up plays here from the running back Eagles in the backfield. Gonna draw PI on that big bomb. 19 got all up in our grill. Definitely need to make every positive play count. Another first down. Got the clock down to about 10 seconds here. And what an interception. Need this third down. Spruce, will you come through? Big man secured it. Little halfback draw to Eagles. Gets the blocks to hold. He's got another one. Now fourth and 21. This is the game on the line. Gonna throw this one undercut by the DB. Let's at least tackle this fool so we can burn our last two timeouts. And never mind. That was one of our worst games in the last few years. The unfortunate news didn't stop Lehman from committing four-star gem tight end. We'll need that with Spruce graduating this season. The Boise State Broncos exposed us just a little bit. Clemson is going to be even tougher of a test on paper. Fourth and 21, getting sacked an awful lot. Not a good sign, but this one to Oliveira is redemption all the 
way touchdown the quarterback for clemson's number 20 so that's a little funny maybe he was an athlete running back or something and he got converted to quarterback he's a good looking lefty slinger that was a dot out here witnessing number 20 the lefty just continue to make good play after play not gonna do it here when you're going up against the first team all-american pat knox he must not have read the scouting report because pat knox holds it down like fort knox and we are not gonna read any report just gonna go for it on fourth and 12. when we look back at the recap of the game it's gonna be moments just like this where we realize we made some mistakes no doubt oh my goodness what a run from flood grit determination all things we believe in out here in cuna idaho what a touchdown eagles ties this thing up this is it thankfully defense was able to hold and we have a last chance to get points with a minute 30 i think that's plenty of time to get down this field and make things happen why not let it fly because we have an open lane we can scramble into cutting it down field to the 20. Little more urgency, hurrying it up with a slant middle call. Yes, we got him over the middle, and no, we actually did not, which I'm surprised to see since it looked wide open until number three really sold out on the interception, and it just got worse. What a dagger pick six as time expires. He just made himself a highlight real type play all of a sudden after winning a national championship we have more losses through four weeks than we did all last year go ahead and slate brett slater in as your next potato king as well as rashawn heflin on the bye week we got good news landed our first five star of the year out of new orleans it's a center to hold down the offensive line big 12 conference play by no means is going to get easier on us as west virginia is 4-0 through the young season they want to keep that alive mountaineer country it's west virginia mountain mama let's go ahead and give these lads a run west virginia means business 14 apiece we have a blow by here from Smythe. can he keep up the pace no dice on the last one and it's about to be no dice on this one audibling changing up the formation to all go let's see if that catches these guys napping and you know what it just might if spruce can beat the db seriously tempted to make a quarterback change as we're now going on three games of pedestrian like results that's not what i expect from a national championship caliber quarterback but for that very reason that's why i keep him in he has proven he can win on the biggest stage he is that type of quarterback let's go with second and goal i can expect a heavy dose of handoffs as they'll look to continue to chew this clock down to the final second third and goal snapping drawing it is going to go to 18 and he stopped fourth and goal if we can block a kick that's an extra icing on top of the cake but we can't this is it this is the drive we have to put our head into it and make sound decisions and then scan the environment here for a all go look at that press beater it's stevens coming down with a great play all of a sudden in west virginia territory threatening we have a first and goal practically third and inches gonna need to step up ourselves and take this thing to fourth down everything on the line right here money spruce for the win west virginia falls to the potato kings 1-0 in big 12 conference play folks go loco for coco we're bringing in a real spud stud lives up to the five star hype and you know who else has also been living up to the hype it's prime times buffaloes spuds buffaloes in the beautiful state of colorado rocky mountain region great scenic views high elevation low oxygen content let's see what prime's all about 13 takes the carry he's gonna just walk it into the end zone easy peasy on the verge of making this thing a 21 14 matchup it's a high scoring affair the freshie couldn't find pay dirt so it's back to eagles tried and true get in there 19th ranked in the nation i don't want to say our hopes that the playoffs are over because if we can win out the big 12 con conference and that national championship big 12 championship i should say the path to the national championship will look clear starts off by making the textbook read eagles walking in doing the rest for a moment primetime had me believing that his squad was gonna go toe for toe but i guess they didn't read the report on eagles this next pass and completion will put him over 300 passing yards five touchdown passes in the first half dropping a few key games this is a atonement for what we've done gallimore 
to Spruce, make it 49 points. Glad we got all sorted out. It was 21, 21, zero in the third, and then another 20 piece in the fourth. In that last one against CU, Kerry Forrester was about that action. Flood was too, offense and defense really harmonized. Kansas State, Iowa State call it Farmageddon, while CUNA and Iowa State call it Spudageddon. The roadshow across the Big 12 continues. CUNA has been on the road for weeks in a row now itching to get back home but we ain't coming home unless we get that sweet sweet w iowa state two and four on the season we're four and two this should be a game that we can handle little rpo slant denied at the line buddy just smacked that thing down with authority he was wide open if it weren't for that play but We'll go ahead and go to Spruce anyway and get that six we need. Offense, defense, click in. We got a safety and made another touchdown out of it. The way CUNA has been coming alive in the last game and a half, it could be over before it's already started. One more touchdown and we can go ahead and get the press all fired up. Start writing your articles now. Ames, Iowa, say goodbye. We're not going to be coming back for the rest of the year. They're two and five. We're five and two on the up and up. Another day, another light six. In the background, we continue to get commits like it's nothing. I really think Old McDonald's built something here that'll last for eons. NIL dollars will never be a problem with billion dollar potatoes. No time like the present. Two minute drill. I want it all, and so does Stevens. Touchdown. In progress, flipping the script. That's what it's all about. Smythe burns the DB, and you know what? It's tied up just like that. Now down by a touchdown here in the third quarter. We're gonna tie it right back up, but it could have been more. Winding down to the end of this one, this is put up or shut up time. Tevin's all about it so far. He's looking really good from the linebacking position. I may be mistaken, but I believe he's a converted edge rusher that was once an outside linebacker. I do know he's got a star underneath his number for a reason, so we can keep calling him anytime we need it. Receiver in motion. Oh, he's so wide open. Just gotta hit him. In stride, Stevens gives us the lead right back. 35 seconds left, up by three. Houston looking to get in the field goal range. They're all out of timeouts, but they're really close to the goal to go. Their goal is just about 20 yards away, but at fourth and seven, it's all on the line, sacked again. Game-changing pressure on the defensive line in that final stand. 31-28, victorious. Bravo to CUNA for turning around with a four-game win streak and landing this five-star. Looking and feeling pretty good going in into the final stretch. Another national player of the week recognized, it's Willingham. And now the mighty has fallen. Utah once undefeated, lost a game. Let's show them what two losses feel like. Utes, another really successful team in the Pac-12. When they went defunct, they came over to the Big 12. Excited to see how they do in the fall. Stars litter this defense, and for good reason. You don't just get a star under your name for a show. You get it because you're certified a baller. Third down, Lumen Smythe on a corner route to the corner of the end zone. Stacking the box, stacking everyone. It's a fumble and a blunder from Sheriff. Redemption was not too far behind. A second chance stuck in this angle here. I think that was a good throw. When you see it from that perspective, you realize that pass was truly on the money. Something special. Spruce at least hangs on the second time around. Pretty impressive. The Utes have been able to hold our quarterback to only 100 passing yards in this one, but it's all gonna go for not as we score it right here. Taking the lead and not looking back, we're gonna go full steam ahead. With this offense, it seriously rains cats and dogs. Everything just comes out of the woodworks all at once. Stevens, house call, all of a sudden, 28 to 10. It's all too commonplace to see this team cook. And as we continue to bake more and more potatoes, that was really crispy. I noticed some Utah Ute players are from the state of Idaho. We're gonna have to do all we can to make sure they stay local. I think as a national championship winner, we present a compelling case. First one to do it in Idaho is just another feather in our cap, which now that I think about it is exactly why Boise State beat us in the Gem State grudge match. They were most definitely salty about our chip. They fought so many years and for so long just to get to a place where they win Fiesta Bowls and fall just short because there was no committee back then. No 12 team playoff to ever give them a chance. In the new look era of college football, CUNA Kings, a lock to really get in. 
in Boise State on good years can get themselves right in there as well. Got the upper hand on Utah and never looked back. It's a different case for Baylor 10 and 0 on the season. They're undefeated and looking to continue it here. They're senior quarterbacks on the Heisman watch list and that is a big reason why they're here. Successful smooth operation capped off here with a touchdown 7-0. Well, Sheriff, what do you say we go ahead and put them away? Spruce truce we have a truce forcing the issue here fourth and goal read option he's in Yusef. two can play at that game sir you want to get on the board well i'll go ahead and take it right back getting into crunch time they pick up the fourth down desperately needed it and if they don't get this fourth and 12 you can practically kiss their chances good night interception the better team showed up in this one 38 20 overcame some major obstacles and jimmy alonzo is the prize on this hot streak the offense got a plus two overall boost 94 that's what awaits the arizona wildcats in their 86 overall defense go ahead and scratch right back spruce tree i'm sorry he didn't score because i didn't call him by his proper nickname spruce truce open sesame third time's a charm there it is you thought we were down 16 three well i implore you check again good sir scrambling like it's a playground out here flood iconic after that heisman like play i bet you could see where this one was headed 31 16 victory formation down goes Arizona. Old McDonald is on a tear. Final game of the regular season in Lawrence, Kansas. The Jayhawks really don't stand much of a chance. After two early season blunders, the CUNA Kings have really hit their stride. And the Jayhawks are on deck to get this action. Rock, chalk, eat a potato. Corner, touchdown. Stevens could see it from a mile away. Quick work on these guys, just like a quick strike to Alvera while falling down. End of the third quarter, Jayhawks have managed to score 10 points, but it pales in comparison to our 34. Getting handled on the home turf, never a good feeling nor good luck. Jayhawk fans end their season six and six. Fans go home sad. Our fans go home happy and ready for the big stage. We see a familiar foe in the Big 12 championship game, AT&T Stadium, West Virginia, CUNA. Trophy on the line and as it stands in the current college football bracket a lot more on the line not too often you see this but we're ice cold just taking shots trying to warm up any which way Smythe in one play flips the field and flips the script no longer cold and now at the one Spruce gives us that touchdown in the lead if you could tell where this one was headed West Virginia maintained their momentum despite that strike at the end of the first half we just need to get our name back out there hit up an open receiver in ham, call first and goal and score. To score, I have a select few guys in mind, but none other than Spruce Truce is my main target. Something has come alive for West Virginia, I'll tell you that. Inspired football making things happen. Doesn't spell good news for the potatoes, so we're gonna have to take matters into our own hands, put on a move and score, bring it within seven. Third and four, big play here, halfback draw, stopped. Even bigger play called in the last. It's fourth and two. What's it gonna be with clock winding down? Quick strike, holds on. Oh man, with no time left, this is a bummer. We're gonna lose to West Virginia in the Big 12 Championship. Mountaineers look disappointed, I don't know why. There you go, look at the scoreboard. They beat us 31-21, what a troublesome bunch. If you couldn't tell from how we were utilizing him, Freddie Spruce won Best Tight End of the Year Award. We'll definitely want to get more out of him in the 2031 college football playoff bracket, taking on Tulsa in round number one. Despite the overall and the glamor and the glitz, something has felt just a little off about this CUNA team compared to yesteryear. 10 wins in a playoff birth for most schools is a major success but for CUNA King golden potato standard it feels a little fraudulent I just don't feel like we have it all together to make a distance run thankfully we came alive here in round one against Tulsa everyone's on the same page now by all accounts we're walking out of Tulsa with a first round win Shaq Penny dumped them flood with some movement got a wide open spruce trues touchdown now that we're officially advancing past Tulsa we get ourselves a bowl game when it's a playoff version CUNA King team anything goes we step up into the occasion it's been a long time coming for old McDonald but I love to see him get recognized with the program builder archetype and what I love even more at the moment is a playoff game against Michigan State 
State in the Rose Bowl. The stage is set for a classic bowl game experience. We should be in for a good one. Already testing the waters, showing major faith in this offense. Fourth and 13 converted. Can't stop throwing the ball his way. He is so reliable. Spruce is the definition of that. He's waited his whole career. Brought him in so many years ago, and now he gets a starting job. Not only that, he gets tight end of the year and is making splash plays, touchdown after touchdown. Trust the process, and usually good things will come. You just gotta work hard. The more and more I talk about Spruce, it reminds me of all the other players on the roster right now sitting there just waiting their chance i could be talking about them to the same tune this next season for michigan state these guys were just underprepared and undermatched outsized whatever you want to call it they didn't have the right secondary or personnel to stop anyone from CUNA, Idaho. Not an awful lot of stress coming out of the CUNA side. Our fans knew it, our team knew it. We had this one on wraps. I was doubting our team in the Big 12 championship game and coming into this playoff bracket, but we've been nothing but decisive against Tulsa, Michigan State, now taking on big, bad Alabama. If we can manage to get through them, we'll take on the winner of Stanford, West Virginia, which would be another opportunity at revenge in that Big 12 championship game. For now, it's Fiesta festival time and we're looking at another trophy to the stack down 21 to 7 to alabama we knew coming into this this was going to be by far the toughest test one of the most successful college football programs in the nation you don't get anything easy against them which is why we need to take any opportunity we get with favorable positioning to cash in ham at the one boom spruce is lose three minutes left in the fourth quarter it's safe to say it's crunch time and i need all hands on deck time is our friend in this one so let's play with a couple handoffs eagles couldn't get it on the first one so keglar's in maybe this change of pace back can plunge his frame in he does and a turnover for alabama's offense is gonna just about seal this one play and this thing flipped on its head we were down and now we're up by four up by two possessions on that sweet sweet note 35 24 potato kings in fact have a chance to defend their title back to back is on tap unfortunately for west virginia they fell at the hands of stanford so we'll meet the number one seed in the national championship game for this monumental occasion i'm gonna don the golden potato fits the kings continue to surprise me back to back appearances thought we might have been a little ahead of schedule last season definitely did not expect to be here after dropping a couple early blunders and now we get a chance to meet Stanford in the big game a lot can change when you're rebuilding a team and you have this much time on your hands did I just see that correctly linebacker James Freeland who just dropped us on the last one has 23 sacks this season but you can't sack Smythe when he's just too fast favorable position and a favorable tight end in spruce i love that dude in close games like this one against stanford he comes out and shows his true colors as a security blanket stanford offense waking up going back and forth with us trading these touchdowns and i don't want to do this anymore so i'm just gonna let one fly to spruce the big man he hauls it in i believe i can fly i believe i can touch the sky sign this man to an nfl team right now national championship game mvp stanford knows how important it is to keep up going for it on fourth and one in the third quarter over the middle i'm surprised he fit that into a window that's a good quarterback kind of surprised old mcdonald didn't want to take his three points on fourth down he's telling his offense to go for it qb power blown up second time's a charm got in there 36 24 forcing stanford to go on every fourth down that comes their way one more stop and i can officially say national champs it's in the books landry interception that's gonna do it bring them out bring them out bring them out let's go cuna idaho back to back national champions are these guys out of the gem state finally on the map the conversation the radar to be the next true dynasty oklahoma's done it alabama's done it georgia's done it old mcdonald's now doing it right here in the present give it up for the potato kings nothing gets me more amped up than hoisting up hardware trophy especially the one that matters most this is the squad that did it 
these other guys that made it happen. On that emphatic note, CEO unlocked. The goal of every coach is to get to this pinnacle. Elite head coach now unlocked. Unfortunately, with the points we stockpiled, we can only redeem one of these. Otherwise, we would have been able to redeem two if we just had one more point. Obviously, no wrong answer, but with back-to-back -back national champs, I believe we'll have a lot of interest and a lot of players will think our school is a dream school. The CEO NFL Sunday ability would have helped in this one case with Leon Osling declaring for the first round. We'll try to keep him with extremely low persuasion and it actually worked. That's insane. A lot of NFL bound Potato Kings, Trayvon Beer leading the way in the first round. Leota made some huge plays off the edge, second round snag. Two third rounders in Matt Fogg and Pat Knox. Fourth round picks for Hammer and James Willingham. Look at Deron Bland's brother out here getting picked in the fifth round similar to when he was selected in the nfl draft good news he gets to reunite and then chip coleman sixth round flyer good stuff top 10 signing class the rich just get richer the training results are in and guess what we're just as elite as before the running back room continues to elevate eagles at 94 overall 99 speed romeo tolton had an off season to prove why he belongs in the starting conversation with no spruce i'm looking at guys like ham and estrella to step up one heck of a physical defensive line 390 plus players and linebackers are just insane off the charts and so much depth at each position probably one of our best batch of cornerbacks as well cuny king fans prepare yourself because after two national playoff championships we are getting promoted into the sec alabama georgia watch out there is a new sheriff in town recruiting won't be a heavy focus since this is our final season but it's great to see so many four and five star prospects want to come to cuny idaho i know he's only a three star but old mcdonald CEO ability already coming through in a major way. First prospect scholarship offer, Insta commit. The quest for a three-peat in the defense tour starts now against Cincinnati. Let's send everything off with a bang. These potatoes are ready for harvest. The Dukes Classic is the opener. Okay, now, I didn't realize we were playing at a neutral site. Maybe I should have paid more attention to the stadium selection. That's actually really cool. And check out the new SEC patch. With this star-studded roster, I expect to see a lot of magical plays and excitement all year long. Cincinnati has the 20th rank underneath their name, but I'm afraid they're just a warm up and in our way. 14 zip at midfield with the ball. I'm gonna make sure Zari Brown gets his touches today. The elite freshman playmaker is truly an NFL threat, just like running back Eagles here. He's the next best thing since Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Eagles is gonna just walk this one in. I haven't even needed to test out our deep threats with all of their speed, but I'll try it out right now with two minutes to go in the half. 99 speed Romeo Tall, and I can't believe how easy that was. On third and 12, read option. Flood's gonna keep it. Hit the outside. He is out of there. Touchdown. Cincinnati with 21 points in the fourth quarter. All for not. Boise State, the blue turf, the pride of Idaho. Well, not anymore, buddy. The gem state is ran through CUNA. Two straight games of rain. No problemo over here from the Flood crew, except that that was a bad decision. Boise don't got potatoes like we got them out here in CUNA, and Eagles is here to prove it. I mean, do a little dance, showboat, and score. I'm not gonna abuse this too often, but when you test me like this with man coverage, of course I'm gonna take my one-on-one -on -one shots to our speedsters. Eagles is next level different. Boise State's showing why they're no pushover right now before half, looking to get some points. They stopped us on the last one and they burn us on the next one. What's that star doing under your number? One possession game, but I still feel really good about what we got. Ham, bone, bake them up, mash them up. Who wants a little ham and potatoes? Much needed insurance on that last one. They're going for it on fourth down. He's scrambling out. That's a dangerous throw and we could not communicate but it was better that that fell incomplete because the turnover led to points boise state scores gets an onside kick but that should ice out their dreams surviving in the end 35 28 boise state gave us a little scare once again the gem state runs through cuna eagles player of the game had a good receiving line as well now this is what i'm really intrigued to see another game of the week cuna versus florida state the two seed versus the number three you already know i'm coming out in the all golds and bummer i didn't see florida state's light blues in here regardless 
regardless, we're on the road taking on the Seminoles. I'm super high on the Eagle stock. This dude has been lights out for us. And so is Ham. This one, two punch between Eagles and Ham. I'm loving it. It's about building quick momentum. That's how you catch Florida State napping. I mean, check this out. Boom. Zari Brown catch and run. Almost zipped out of there. I'll go ahead and give Brown a crack on the left side of the field here. He's wide open. Touchdown. The freshman dancing and celebrating his first collegiate touchdown. Now I'm wondering if Eagles is hurt because I've seen three new running backs this game that I haven't seen before. Proving my point, Keglar is now back there. Seen a whole mix of dudes and that's not going to matter though. This running back committee is dedicated to winning. Like I'm seriously not worried about it. I've recruited really well at the running back position and to prove it to you, Keglar says remember me now check out who's in there number 20 portilla is gonna get the carry and he's gonna go ahead bounce it to the outside just miss now get bruising back lee right back in there boom lower the shoulder touchdown really good game right now between these two teams and that was ugly with three seconds left on defense this is it florida state looking to tie and go to overtime no feel my potato wrath one last good old gold rush classic for the books here it's in cuna idaho little third and three action slant Talton, first and goal. Eagles, I need you to slam this one into the end zone like you do. I can't stop staring at the SEC logo on the field. It's gorgeous. Really excited our program has developed into a powerhouse that can hang at this level. Never in Old McDonald's wildest dreams did he expect to be here and this fast. It's just insane. This was always the dream, but to see it come to fruition just brings a tear to a farmer's eye when you just have a squad that you can root for and expect to win. Getting emotional just thinking about it. You know, it chokes me up just like we like choking out the defense. That is the way we do it. Eagles shedding one and two and score. Fourth and 11, clearly desperation mode here. You're throwing it right to the highest ranked draft stock linebacker in next year's NFL draft as he just takes off. Well, as expected, 35-3, it's time to celebrate in CUNA, Idaho. And just like that, we're already into SEC conference play. Welcoming Old Miss to CUNA, Idaho. I feel like this is our first real test of the season outside of the Florida State game that we took care of. But actually getting our SEC opponent into the potato zone, it's going to be an exciting one as they're already taking off down the field, getting close to scoring. Let's play some King brand football here and make a stop. Good one-on-one -on -one tackle there on the last one. He's got options and he's going to take none of them. Settling for three feels like an L. If you're old miss and it's even more, you miss it. How do you miss a chip shot? I'll give him kudos for holding our drive to fourth down, but I won't give him kudos for botching up this fourth down stop. You're going to let ham run all the way home. Touchdown. Good old fashioned QB power here. Oh my gosh, that was a zip. Unfortunately, it did not amount to anything but that's okay alvera is there first and goal final few seconds left can we get more points is that brown yes now the hamster there he is love calling his name 35 14 easily survived the first test in the sec at this point in the rebuild i still absolutely love to see freshmen stepping it up like taj godwin he got a good win holding it down at the linebacking court another big team coming to cuna idaho it's now time for texas horns up or horns down i think they're gonna be feeling awfully down after we give them a potato buffet texas has an all-around really good roster but are they ready for our baked potatoes i don't know man i don't think they can hang just point blank Look at those blocks. Look at the slippery eagle. Another touchdown. They're keeping things a little bit more interesting than Old Miss was able to. Coming out of half, I admit they're giving us a good test for the money here in the lead. Third and goal, two minutes left. They're sending a little bit of a blitz and it gets to him. Really good work here getting down the field and cashing in. Wow. Crazy to see Portilla slip in there at the end and that's going to do it. The comeback complete upset special or not really an upset. Just a good game and avoiding the loss. I know we've been pretty light on the recruiting updates, but I got to pause for a second. Look at this last name. Colin Lekeker Kirker. Lekekerkerker? That is a mouthful for anyone that's going to be announcing the game to say. That's got to be one of the nuttiest ones I've found. And you know what's nutty? Another game of the week against number five, Alabama on the road. Be a champion. That is the goal for CUNA. I really think we're destined for the three-peat. Can you believe it? Another rain game. It has literally rained in almost every single game that we have played this entire season. Come on, Eagles. Absolutely gorgeous out here to see us execute a game 
game plan so well on the first drive. 19 seconds to work it here. Zari, I'm calling your number. You got it for six, my boy. Hard work all for naught. We're down. Really came out here, sold the bag, and now Alabama has a lead. We can make things right if we just keep taking sure play after sure play. Like Eagles down the sideline. Yes, please. Already in field goal range, but forget that. I want the win. Give me a touchdown. So let's keep it chugging. Just take a quick out here to Eagles. He's got so much space ahead of him and he can make a man miss. Maybe we can get a little cute here with a reverse end around. Did not work and I can't even audible a run play here. This close to the line. Bro, we're crazy going for it. Fourth and three, little time left in this game. Eagles fight, no! I can't believe it, we got the stop. We're out of timeouts. I just have to trust that we can go and win this thing. No, how did we miss him? I got speedsters at every level. I'm gonna take it to Talton again. This time he beats him and he completes. That is gonna do it. I can't believe it. Touch down. On that note, Kuna is up to seven and oh. Rashawn Creer, you look nice at a Niceville, Florida, but I'm sorry, my man. You're a little late to the dynasty. Old McDonald's got his team seven and oh, defending that number one ranking. Not much else to say, but shame to anyone that thought Old McDonald wasn't that guy, because Old McDonald is definitely that guy, pal. Good to know Vandy's still bad in the SEC nine years later. Let's go ahead and give him a rude awakening. Opening drive, Portilla, take us home. Shrugging aside, Vandy. Little empty split here, little ham bone toss. You already know the rest. Old McDonald really has a hard on for our kicker wanting to go for 59 60 yard field goals which i don't do that i throw dimes instead scramble drill to our right and we got him really thought we were onto something that last drive but you know what forget we want more ham we got more ham looks like we're without eagles the entire game but portilla is definitely comparable ah yes where were we did i ever mention ham is feeling hammy another one and would you look at that pepper is back on the field man has not sniffed it for so long and he only got one play fell to the ground 49 10 cuna kings win continuing along the sec trail missouri's down to an 82 overall not looking too hot this far into the rebuild nonetheless we welcome mizzou to cuna idaho to do what we do every week and i'm not gonna lie i just now only noticed that we're ranked second in the nation how in the world did we fall from number one we're literally undefeated we play in the sec there's literally zero reason why that should be the case even our non-conference games were tough our resume is buffed out so this is really confusing i'm not gonna lie jet touch pass to the fastest man on this team he's gonna almost slip through didn't work out but that's okay that's what you have a ham for Ham got beat, but I said, that's what you got a ham for. He doesn't get beat on the second one. Holding it in. Got our team spread out here. Ham, sure ham it did. Down by two possessions. We march right back into the red zone. It's time to take care of some business. Get in there. First and goal, scramble drill, touchdown, Kuna. Third and six, let's just take this play to Talton. He's got it, and that's the lead. Absolute money play right there. Getting Mizzou back to fourth and nine. An interception by Whitaker is gonna end this thing. What a spin and red zone opportunity. Every SEC opponent is gonna give us a fight, so we can never take it for granted. Eagles, though, gives us the insurance to possession lead. Easy peasy from that point on, but goodness, that game was far from easy peasy. Back atop the throne for the Kings. It's fittingly so. We are the Potato Kings, and this is our house. I guess there were some questions about us being number one. Well, that's just silly talk. Kentucky is going to fuel us as we reap our harvest all over them Wildcats. Go Big Blue or something like that. On third and one, we're going to take this out to Alvera. He's got it. Beautiful connection shin and talk about a dazzling oh man i looked away from the screen before he even got into the end zone i thought it was a sure thing for the ham bone but we'll go ahead and give it to him again let's see if we can get through kentucky's defense here at the goal line qb power walk the dog baby third and ten quick strike yes you know who hey yo i need you to make the sure-handed plays out here as flood wow electric little fourth and seven action here before half nothing a quick strike won't fix no point in letting kentucky get back in this game so let's let ham finish him touchdown if you weren't convinced i mean just look at eagles one-on-one -on, -one on the outside good night 
10 steps ahead and some is just too easy just a fun game all around for the offense 49 21 on we go against a good florida team into the swamp did they really just say ofisa the guy that tackled me there has 17 and a half sacks that's a little nutty i'm not gonna lie he caught it oh my goodness how did he hang on zari brown with a big catch and surviving the hit that is next level my friend you just set up a ham touchdown nothing like getting on the board first in a big matchup good interception there by number 16 the receiver broke free it was in his grasp but it just was too little on the pass and let's go for it fourth and 13 tyreek down there somewhere 99 speed that's what it'll do for you florida scrapping their way back in this thing you know who's gonna go the distance for us ham bone let's eat gorgeous connection on the last one on the run there between our guy and ham they love each other no sweat over here 37 24 is gonna be the final down to the final regular season game sheriff flood the favorite for heisman and never count out Le'Veon eagles fourth in the race let's go ahead and show boomer sooner what it's all about in cuna idaho pulling up a quick audible here You're gonna get the fullback involved is clug plugging it touchdown cuna idaho has been experiencing sold out crowds for like the last three years it's truly unbelievable what this team has been able to do we're in a 21 21 battle brown's gonna give us the lead again we have life and an opportunity to still win this thing eagles zipping in and out what a run this could be the worst decision of our life going for it on fourth down and nine we miss ham well that was costly down by three no timeouts gonna have to make magic happen and we'll start with ham okay okay now you're telling me there's a chance here eagles catch and run he's got some jittery moves on him mr jitterfeet out here i love it slant connection zari brown off to the races spin and down at the two a thriller to the very end all right hand off what the heck was that that was risky and dangerous doing all of that jazz no 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 we're gonna lose oh my gosh a sour ending we'd lose to oklahoma in the last game we'll see him again guaranteed in the sec championship game literally just lost and we get to face him again major blunder but that's not gonna happen this time it's revenge we studied the film from the last week we're righting our wrongs we're gonna show them what cuna football is all about no more mr nice guy sleeves are getting rolled up i'm done being nice this is their final chance to wave the flag surrender now or accept the consequences eagles is just the start next i'm gonna give you a steady dose of tall tin in the back of the end zone touch down at the inches line we're just gonna take this thing up the middle with flood he got in there back calling the double goes i'm just gonna lob it back up to talton because i don't think number 12 can hang in there with that speed 28 3 are you feeling us now we're taking this game very seriously so seriously in fact that we're about to score and be up 35 3 in the first half y'all didn't believe me i'm about to show you why it's about to become 42 3 forget the 35 i want another one sorry that's it turn the lights off carry me home dart to eagles i know he's like that i think the sooners did not prep very well for this game they assumed they could beat us again like they did last week y'all can head on home with your tail tucked between the legs 63 13 that's a smackdown obvious player of the game eight touchdowns here is a look at the bracket we'll have a fun first one taking on the winner of troy tennessee troy had a perfect season as well but before we can get there let's bask in the moment here sheriff flood player of the year and rightfully so especially sealing it after the championship game heisman Le'Veon eagles won running back of the year and those are just his rushing yards danny ham just looks like a danny ham doesn't he 50 catches 17 for touchdowns james wins db of the year and wow yeah this team was just full of accolades small sample size here from guys like lee olawali and tony portilla but they carry the rock very efficiently this is part of the reason why Le'Veon won the running back of the year award 566 yards six tutties through the air big time defense from santucci and forrester linebacking core led by redshirt freshman godwin with four interceptions and then three from draft branson and whitaker part of the reason i think james won db of the year is because he had 
192 tackles and that leads the team more than any other linebacker even let's keep it pushing with the cotton bowl taking on tennessee all right who talked about color coordination for this game we have gold versus orange that's a little insane got james slotting down in the sub linebacker position the cornerback i'm taking control here he's fast he can tackle he is a stud successful mission holding them the three and on the other side of the field it's flood leading his guys down here with an insane electric lightning mcqueen burst they just sometimes kick it into that ultra drive which i love to see it i'm not gonna lie talton secures it and gets us on the board went ahead and denied their request for more points and instead said let's take six of our own alvera touchdown you got a couple heisman candidates including the heisman winner out here you are gonna get dotted up all night long flood is trying to be the only player in history to not only win one two three national championships and then tack on a fourth because he's coming back for a senior season well i guess that's a big if he comes back if i were the homie i'd go to the nfl man you have a storied career out here for cuna ah shoot Woo! Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. How did he get that? I literally said, oh, shoot, I thought that was a pick. Textbook first round, 41-17 victory. No real hiccups, no real roadblocks. The amount of times I see the Ducks in the playoffs is unheard of. Well, this game's been a whirlwind in all the wrong ways. It's down 28-0, so let's commence the largest comeback in collegiate history, shall we? Just under a minute here in the half. I'm going to toss one to Eagles against the linebacker. You got to be kidding me. Don't ever test Le'Veon like that. It's not over yet. Fourth down, they literally score again unbelievable but hey look at that press pro for the win verticals baby essentially the all verticals challenge at this point bang i think the running back has got to step again it's eagles not a house call but we definitely got the weapons to make this game interesting am i right flood oh yeah no more messing around just get me in the end zone please and thank you coach suggests we start going for two i'm gonna have to agree with him because i want to make this thing as close as possible oregon chewed so much clock on their last drive it's actually redonkulous so we're gonna have to come back and strike fast of course they continue to line up a mismatch against our running back so my eyes will gravitate in that direction and what the heck? I thought we had a step. <gasps> Yo, Eagles makes an out of his mind catch. I see someone really wants the national championship. I'm glad there's at least one of us on this team that wants it bad enough. Yes, talk to me nicely. A minute 30 with all our timeouts. All we gotta do is cash in for this two pointer and we will be one possession game. You're telling me there's a chance. I kid you not, no timeouts. Sure, that's one thing, but look at this folks, we have a ball game defense did their job here in the fourth quarter putting the ball right now into the offense's hands hoping that they can do it oh my goodness brown let's go you've got to be kidding me are you out of your mind this has got to be one of the greatest comebacks ever let's go ahead and keep it in flood get there baby get there yes come on you've got to be kidding me right now third and ten make the stop make the stop no oh no that was tragic so our best chance right now is hoping this thing goes to overtime big sack let's go can you feel it cuna fans mo bombas blaring in the background i'm amped up this has got to be one of the best games in cuna's history and it just gets even better because the stakes are so high we are going to the natty if we can pull this off someone stop that running back man we make the stop fourth and one looks like we're heading to overtime i don't think they're gonna snap it off they do but yeah it's out of bounds so no chance to return it how have we come back in this game and check out homie's eyes oh my goodness that's scary oregon wins the toss i imagine they want to play defense first literally have been playing from behind all game i was just in vertical spread him out mode but now i can actually do a little bit of ground and pound i'm so amped up right now by the result and how well we've come back eagles around the outside come on baby we're hungry. You know how badly we want to bake them up, mash them up. National championship aspirations. We want it all ham. Give me the ham bone. Way to stick your ham bone with authority. QB power flood. This is so freaking risky, but we're going to power it again. He could fumble. That is always the danger, but he's in. Kuna 
Idaho, your team is in the lead. All right, first and 10 on defense. Why are we leaving him so open? It's already first and goal after that first play of the drive. They're searching. They're going to dump it out here to 82. Get sticked. Taj Godwin here with his 11th tackle in the game. Going back in coverage. The quarterback stepping up. Hit him. Oh my gosh, man. This is nerve wracking right now. Third and goal. This is insane. He missed his receiver. Screw it. Send him up the middle. Send a blitz. Bring everything we got. He's going for it. No, I'm not messing around with no two point attempt for the win here. So just take your one comes down to double overtime. We have got one of the best games in college football history right here. First play ducks in zone house call. That's that shiz. I don't like two point attempt. He's going to not hand it off. It's a fake. He got me over the middle flood feeling salty, man, about that was really counting on his defense here to step up and be a hero, but he's going to have to do it himself. Spreading them out, hurrying up, trying to keep Oregon off tempo here, taking the sure thing across to Talton, fighting, fighting and fighting pretty quick and efficient to get down here. Let's go ahead and dump it out to ham. Get in there, big boy. Surprised he did not get in there. I'm a little bummed to see that. So we'll just go the other direction. Eagles has it. It literally scares me so bad to run a jet touch for the two point play here. Can we get through up and in? We tie it. We're going triple OT triple overtime. This is literally insane. It's trading two point attempts now, right? Is that correct? Ham. He's got it. Come on. Back and forth we go. This is literally insanity. They're going to go with an option. Run here. Stop him. He's in. Fourth round of overtime. He's sending his running back out. It's a pass play. Holding over the middle. Make a play, linebacker. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Why didn't the linebacker jump up and make a play? Now it's, what is this, fourth or fifth round of OT. I'm actually scared out of my mind. And we don't get it. Play was blown up. Kuna loses in the Sugar Bowl. This is not a drill. The Ducks take us out after the craziest game ever. I'm so disheartened what a sour potato way to end it looks like notre dame did what we could not they knock off oregon for the championship i think we can hold keglar back from the nfl persuade him to stay continue to be that one two punch with eagles sending eight potato kings to the nfl draft this was one of our most fruitful harvests the roster is locked and loaded no shortage of star power one last look at old mcdonald's success here on the team four first rounders three second rounders five third rounders four fourth rounders two three and one that is 22 potato kings sent to the nfl across this rebuild and trust me if we kept going another year or two there are so many more lining up a look at some of the quick stats notably 78 wins 19 versus higher rank 17 top 25 wins 12 top 10 wins six top five victories a couple national championships 19 five stars two top 10 classes and yeah man life was good for old mcdonald what a run it has been well and just like that old mcdonald doesn't get his fancy right off into the sunset no three p over here in cuna idaho but we still had a lot of fun and made a lot of memories along the way i really hope you soaked up this series i enjoyed bringing it to y'all make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button all your support means the world and it makes a huge difference on this channel i appreciate y'all tuning in this series has been so much fun once again there are so many college football 25 bangers around the corner you're not going to want to miss a thing, so keep it here with King Sponge.